cannot navigate through the end time storms if you don't go back to the place of prayer. So the secret place of the Most High is the place of prayer. Every family on earth and every individual, as long as you live in this world, you will face one affliction or the other. You will go through one suffering or the other. Every family has their own affliction and their own sufferings. Every individual have their own sufferings and their own afflictions that the enemy has prescribed for them. It looks like the enemy has a prescription for every family and every individual. Some family, white poverty. It doesn't matter what, they go to Yale, Oxford, Harvard, Princeton, Cambridge, name it. Ohiafita is their affliction. Some family is a mental issue. Some is some kind of a sickness and disease. It's, there are different kinds of afflictions or sufferings that have been prescribed for every family. Not from God, but the devil. Even Paul has had an affliction, Apostle Paul. He said, a messenger of Satan was assigned to me. Second Corinthians 12, verse 7. Unless I should be exalted above measure, through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Say a messenger of Satan. A messenger of Satan. Say a thorn in the flesh. Every family has a thorn. Turn to somebody and say, I know you look very good. You, you look very good. Very anointed. But you know you have a thorn. You, you have a thorn. Everybody has a thorn. Some people is anger, frustration, discouragement, some kind of a sickness or the other. Everybody is dealing with a thorn. And everybody, like the day you were born, an angel of the Lord was assigned to monitor you and to protect you. At the same time, there are demons also who in your family, the day you were born, in that family, the family demon will begin to monitor you. But you see, because the demons, they are not many like the angels. What the family demons does, look at 1 Kings 11, 1. They target the promised seed of the family. They target the royal seed. They don't go for everybody because they are not many like the angels. So they will look into the family and say, this girl, this boy, this one is the promised seed or the royal seed. So they'll go after that one. And when Ataliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal. She did what? Arose. And did what? And destroyed. Anyone that have risen yes. to eliminate you and your children, let them be eliminated. Anyone that have risen seeking the seed royal, the promised seed in your family and your life to kill, steal, and destroy, let them be eliminated. In the name of the Lord Jesus, put your hands together. Pray that prayer right now.
Hear me. Hear me. We are still standing on the same protocol of this scripture. When my mother took seed of me, she bled for four months. She was lying in cold blood, anemic. She couldn't get up from the bed. She couldn't carry the pregnancy. So they performed a and c and took the pregnancy out. Months after, the stomach kept growing. Then they went back to theater and they realized that we were twins. And the procedure took my twin out and left me there by providence. See, by providence. And after I was born, I've been fighting all kinds of battle from my mother's womb in the state of unconsciousness and in the state of consciousness. And one of the last battle was this, when I put my hand in fire and lost three of my fingers. They wanted to kill me. And all was because of me standing here today and talking to you. <laughs> Lift up your right hand. Say, any principality and power. You see, Atalia was not just an ordinary demon. Number one, Atalia was a princess. She was the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel. So she was a princess. Then she married a king and became a queen. Then the son became a king. So she became a queen mother. So she was, she was a master spirit. She wasn't just power, she was authority. And after all those credentials, she was not satisfied. She wanted to rule as a queen in Israel. The only woman that ruled in Israel as a queen was Atalia. And how did she do it? She killed all the royal seed. Only one escaped. You will escape. <laughs> Say, I will escape. Say, I have escaped. Say, my children have escaped. In the name of Jesus, say, let Atalia be terminated that is seeking my life and the life of my seed, home and abroad, within and without, domestic and external. Say, in the name of Jesus, I intercept Atalia seeking my life and the life of my seed in the name of Jesus say I will not die prematurely say me and my house and my seed home and abroad we escape we escape we escape from Atalia agenda in the name of Jesus say let Atalia go down let Atalia be terminated and let the seed royal be delivered preserved in the name of Jesus somebody put your hands together open your mouth declare Push it, push it, push it. Walk around. Put your hands in that. Declare, declare. Deliverance from Atalia. Deliverance from Atalia. That have risen. Seeking our life. 
and the life of our seed. Let Atalia be terminated. Let our seed be preserved. In the name of Jesus, preserved and delivered from sufferings, from affliction. In the name of Jesus, push it, lift it up. Now, Psalm 34, verse 19. David, remember that David was a king. David was a prophet. David was a priest. And David was a man after God's own heart. But that didn't exempt him and his family from afflictions and sufferings. So when he said, many... At the afflictions of the righteous. He didn't say many are the afflictions of the unrighteous or the sinner. So the fact that you are a righteous person does not mean you are exempted. As a matter of fact, the fact that you are righteous is one of the reasons for the many afflictions. To get you to give up on God. To get you to give up on God. And to get you to possibly backslide. To discourage you and to say, why all this? If God be God, why? All these prayers, fastings, giving, sowing seed, tithing, living holy. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't go to disco. I don't do what all others do. I, I should be happy. You are joking. Are you hearing me? The fact that you are righteous, eh? Is the reason for many, not just afflictions, but many complications, constant bombardment of sufferings. But look at the promise. Look at the promise. Listen. Say but. Uh, I'm trying to develop a message. Those of you who are preachers, don't don't preach it. You even know what I'm preaching. Say but. The other day, David said in Psalm three. Many be they that say of me, there is no hope for me. And David said, But thou, O Lord, are a shield for me and the glory of my head. Say yes. So here he said, He said, Many had the afflictions of the righteous. Many had the afflictions of the righteous. But Tell somebody there is a way out, a way out. And, and, and the problem with all of us when we are dealing with afflictions with our families, our loved ones and our children, the frustration is when you don't see the way out. When you don't seem to have a solution, it makes it difficult. But I declare by divine authority, from today, a way out, a way out, a way out. A way out of every affliction. We command a way out. Put your hands down. Command a way out. A way out. A way out. A way out.
Now, hear me. The Bible says, there is no temptation that has befalled you, but such as is common. Tell somebody, whatever you are dealing with is common to man. It's common to man. Tell somebody, you are not the only one. You are not the only one. Hear me. If only you know what others are going through, you will praise the Lord. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You are not the only one going through it. But the Bible says, for God is faithful. Eh? God is faithful. Who with every temptation will make a way of escape? Say, I command escapes. Say, I command escape. Deliverances. Permanent deliverance. Permanent solutions. Divine escapes from afflictions, from sufferings, sufferings, wickedness, perpetuated, program, wickedness, sufferings that they have prescribed for me and my children, for me and my house, for me and my family, and for this house, say I intercept the sufferings, the wickedness, the affliction, I command divine escapes and a way out of any sufferings, afflictions, wickedness which has been prescribed for me, my children, my house, and this house, home and abroad, domestic and external. Say in the name of Jesus, I command right now divine escapes, divine escapes solutions permanent solutions a way out a way out a way out of every sufferings afflictions sufferings wickedness afflictions prescribed for me my children my house this house my nation i command by the blood of the covenant divine escapes a way out a way out. Put your hands together. Declare. something. Say but. but. Say but. but. But means don't give up. Don't quit. It's not yet over. Are you hearing me? But means there is a way out. It doesn't matter what the affliction may be. There is a way out. It's just a matter of time. Tell two people it's just a matter of time. Yes, yes, yes. It's just a matter of time. It may, look, it, it may look like I'm down. It may look like I am losing. But it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Because thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Say yes. Listen. 
There had no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Hey, stop there. Go back again. There had no temptation taken you, such as is common to man. But God see, is stop, faithful. Stop. Again, why is the but, word? Why is the word? But. Why is the word? But. Tell somebody it's not yet over. It's not yet it's over. Not yet over. Ah, tell two people it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming through. You are breaking through. You you are escaping. You are escaping. You were your children. You were your house. Home and abroad. Escaping. Escaping. Escape. Now. Now. He said. But God is faithful. No, no. We've got in that. Yeah. Go ahead. Finish. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able? Yes, sir. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape. Escape. You, escape. Say I command escape. I command escape. Say I command divine escape. I command divine escape. From anyone pursuing me, seeking my life and my children, my house, this house, to kill, to steal, to destroy us. Say I command divine escapes by the blood of the covenant in the air on land on water at home domestic external within and without divine escapes announce it put your hands together announce it back to Psalm 34 verse 19 he said many are the afflictions many are the sufferings Paul called it the other day the fellowship of his suffering yes, sir. Yes, sir. the fellowship of okay. his sufferings that's what Paul called it and David was a man after God's own hand a prophet a king a priest if you study the life and family of David oh it was too much it's too much for anybody to go through. Yet he was a prophet. Yet he was a man after God's own heart. A priest and a king. Job was the most righteous man on the whole earth. Look at his afflictions. And look at what he went through. Tell someone, be careful. Be careful. What you say. What you say. When you see the afflictions of another. When, you see the of another. when I hear people and preachers talking. And despising other people when they are going through affliction or they see the children of people and their children seems to be doing well but you haven't seen your affliction yet because you see the afflictions eh, it doesn't happen when the children are young right, right. no no yeah. no no yeah. don't be fooled I've yeah. seen a lot yeah. Bible said a sower went to sow uh -huh. 
And when men slept, an enemy came and sowed tears. And nobody saw it. But later when the two, the, the two seed eh, began the tears and the wheat, when they started maturing, then the servant went to the master and said, Master, didn't you raise up good seed and good children? What is this that we are saying? And the master said, leave it alone. An enemy has done this. So when your affliction has in common, shut your mouth. You are a child. We are Kora. My father used to say, open you no being you be that. A Kora do be a you be that. So when you see the afflictions of others, pray for them. Papa say, listen, open you for say, say, who say, a ja, a to be a boy you say more. Now I see you see you as you the air. When you see fire, eh, has cut somebody's beard, eh, fetch water and put it next to your beard. <laughs> the Bible says, now go back to Psalm 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Today, we issue commands and decrees by the blood of Jesus. Deliverance for, from sufferings. Deliverance from any form of sufferings and affliction of your children, of your household, in the name of Jesus, of your loved ones, home and abroad, domestic and external. We command now, give me Psalm 44 verse 4. Psalm 44 verse 4. Uh -huh. Thou art my king, O yes, God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Command deliverances for Jacob. Hear me. On, under the Old Testament, he said, God, command. In the New Testament, the Bible says, whatsoever you bind is bound. Whatsoever you lose. So under the New Testament, you see, under the Old, they didn't have the name of Jesus. They didn't have the blood of Jesus. They didn't have the Holy Spirit in them like we do. So in the, in the New Testament, we have to command deliverances. When he say deliverances, is plural. It's not singular. Then when you look at, when you look at Psalm 34 verse 19, he didn't say affliction. He said afflictions, plural. Then this one says deliverances. So we command deliverances. Deliverances from every form of sufferings, from every form of affliction, in our lives, in the life of our children, in the life of our household, in this house, in the life of our loved ones, home and abroad, domestic and external, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, command, put your hands up, command deliverances, deliverances, divine escapes, deliverances from sufferings, from any form of affliction, sufferings, open your mouth, clap your hand, command, Deliverances, divine, escape, 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 escape from mental sufferings and affliction, emotional sufferings and affliction, physical sufferings and afflictions, financial sufferings and afflictions. In the name of Jesus, psychological sufferings and affliction. Put your hands up, open your mouth, command, escapes, deliverances. Command, command, decree, declare, proclaim deliverances 
from every form of suffering, from emotional sufferings, mental sufferings, financial afflictions and suffering, psychological sufferings and afflictions, physical sufferings and afflictions. Command, divine, escape, 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 deliverance, 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 deliverance from all affliction, deliverance, deliverance from all suffering. Now, give me Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. Hey. Woe unto them that the decree same. unrighteous decree. And that righteous grievousness which they have prescribed. Go back, go back, go back. Take, it, take your time, take your time. Read it. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Any them, them, them. Doesn't matter who the them are. Hey. What they are working with. Hey. Wherever. Let their unrighteous decrees be annulled. Let their decrees be abolished. Say we abolish unrighteous decrees which they have prescribed for me and my loved ones, home and abroad. Say let every unrighteous decree that is working against me, my loved ones, home and abroad, domestic and external, within and without, by the blood of the covenant, let unrighteous decrees in the name of Jesus right now be abolished, 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 abolished. Put your hands together, abolished. Abolish, 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 abolish. Finish the scripture. Unrighteous decrees. Now go to. And, and that right grievousness. Now, again. And that right grievousness. Again. And that right grievousness. There are three kinds of curses. Spoken curses. Written curses. Inward curses. Spoken judgments. Written judgments. In what? Watch this. Any prescription, you know, when you go to the doctor, eh, the doctor will prescribe a medicine for you to take it. Any evil they have prescribed for you and your family and your loved ones. Today, we are no evil prescriptions. 
say I am known by the blood of the covenant evil prescriptions which they have prescribed for me and my loved ones in the name of Jesus say any evil prescription that the enemy is enforcing to determine an evil outcome for me and my loved ones home and abroad domestic and external say in the name of Jesus let that evil prescription be annulled and overturned annulled and overturned annulled stand with one or two people clap your hands annulled overturned annulled overturned any evil prescription
Now, Jesus, 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 lift up your hands. Me free my kumemo, me kashepu yora, edi pechafo, edi pechafo, Jesus. I am but cheerful, Jesus. Be free, my co-member. Hey, me cause of your pride. Hey, I will now tell me a party. What you are making me? No, my man. Who could turn I will say, I am he. Me, dear, me, who did. Namawo, hey, a chonga me, watu, hey, watu mozi, oh misu, a chonga me, a chonga me, a wosu, me fui. Jesus, a body in era, Jesus, take remenina, because of who you are, a deep echafo, a deep echafo, and poverty ever, oh, if we make a memo, make a memo, Let every wickedness 
against you and your loved ones come to an end. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. Hear me. As the wickedness prescribed against you and your loved ones come to an end, let the Lord establish you. Amen. And let the Lord give you the upper hand. Amen. And as we pray this prayer, eh, I was dealing with something early this morning. The Spirit of the Lord inspired me to deal with something. Lift up your right hand. Say, I block demonic prayers. I block demonic prayers. Say, I block soulish prayers. Soulish prayers. Say, I block the effects effect. of unscriptural prayers. And say in the name of Jesus, I intercept demonic inspired prayers, demonic incited prayers. I intercept them, block it. Put on the pray that prayer right now. A lot of you may be looking at me and say, what does that mean? I thought that every prayer is prayer. No. The Bible said that a group of religious men and spiritual people came together and vowed not to eat. They vowed not to eat but to fast and pray for Paul to die. Any group of spiritual people Whoever they are, wherever they are, who are fasting and praying for us to be disadvantaged, fasting and praying for our demise, whoever they are, wherever they are, we block them. We block them. We override them. We override them. Block them. Put your hands down. Pray that prayer. Accept their prayers. Block them. Hear me. Hear me. Who were these people? Who were they? They were Jews. Read. Look at it. Go ahead. And when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. Hey! hey. Somebody say, hey. hey! Somebody say, Yehovah! Certain of the Jews, and Paul was a Jew, yes. and Paul said, fierce within fights without these were brethren in we are no more but they've been incited and vexed and provoked to kill paul and god said to satan he said though you provoke me or you move me without a reason to destroy job if 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 the devil can move god to destroy job turn to someone and say you who do you think you are you, you are tilapia. Are you hearing me? He moved God, Almighty God, on Read, listen, listen. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, uh -huh. 
one that feared God and eschewed evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity. Although thou movest me against him to destroy him without a cause. Hey. Hey. Are you hearing me? So any group of people, known and unknown, spiritual people, these Jews were very spiritual people, and they understood how to fast and pray, how to abstain from food and drink, and made, came together and vowed under a curse that they will not stop nor relent Till Paul died. Any group of people, spiritual or unspiritual, within and without, home and abroad, who had vowed that they won't relent till they kill you, till you die, or they kill a loved one of us. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of the covenant, let it backfire. Put hands got backfire. Backfire, backfire, over 10, over 10, over 10, the conspiracy, the mysteries, the device, in the name of Jesus, over 10, over 10, over 10, backfire, boomerang, backfire, boomerang, backfire, boomerang, backfire, boomerang. Any group of spiritual people, anywhere, wherever, praying and fasting in the name of Jesus to devise my head, the demise, head, suffering, affliction, demise of my loved ones, my house, this house, this nation, by the blood of the covenant, let it backfire, 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 backfire. Backfire, 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 boomerang, 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 over turn, over turn, home and abroad, in the name of Jesus, air or land on water, backfire, backfire, put your hands together, backfire. Now, hear me. Psalm 7 verse 9. Let's finish it. Let the wickedness and the injustice and the sufferings, they are prescribed for you and your loved ones and your house. Let it come to an end. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Among some phones, she said, won't you not to Eh? One jine tu onu one si se Eni buta e biya o ma si se We uye mo Asasi asi Asasi su Insi o mu Insi o asi E janto mu E janto mu Put your hands gonna pray that prayer E janto mu Somebody said, 
you people cry. Why do you pray? Pray every Thursday prayer, every Friday prayer, every day prayer. Where is your testimony? Tell somebody it's none of your business. It's none of your business. You see, listen, we pray not because we have a need. We pray not because we want a breakthrough. But we pray because we are prayer addicts. Are you hearing? Jesus, you eat every day. You drink water every day. You shower every day. And you are not tired. We pray every day, every week, and we are not tired. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. The Bible said, Pray without ceasing. Yes. The Bible says men ought to always pray and not to faint. Colossians 4 to continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. Say yes. Say yes. So don't tell me every time prayer, prayer. how? Somebody say, a gentum, a gentum, a gentum, a gentum, a gentum, a gentum, a Amen. Give me Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59, verse 24 to 26. Anyone who wants our flesh, let them be fed with their own flesh. Anyone who wants our blood, or the blood of our loved ones, home and abroad, let them be drunk with their own blood. Isaiah 49, 24 to 26. Quickly. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Yes, sir. Or the lawful captive be delivered? Yes, sir. But thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. Today, let those, any loved one of us captured, by Italia, by the mighty, ready to be slaughtered, home and abroad, let them be delivered. Deliver. Somebody say, deliver, 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 deliver. deliver in deliver. the name of Jesus. Deliver. Say, let the captives of the mighty yes. be delivered in the name of Jesus. Say yes. yes. Go ahead. And the prayer of the terrible shall be delivered. Yes, sir. For I will contend with him that contended with thee. Yes, sir. And I will save thy children. Save Lord. Save Lord. Save deliver Lord. Lord. Save our children. Save our children. Deliver our children. Deliver our children. And our loved ones, Lord. And our loved ones, Lord. From every suffering. From every suffering. And from every affliction. From every affliction. In, the In the name of Jesus. Say yes. Yes. Say yes. Yes. Say yes. yes. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Uh -huh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. Somebody say, Enu -anu -no. Enu -anu -no. Yes, sir. Lift up your hands. Say, I declare. Let the captives, Let the captives of, the mighty of the mighty escape, escape. The, grip the grip of the mighty. Of the mighty. Say, let the unlawful. Let the unlawful let say let the lawful captain be, be delivered within and without, within and without. domestic and external. Domestic and say external. any loved one, any loved one. That, is that is a captive of the mighty. Of the mighty. Say any loved, any loved one that is a lawful captive. Lawful captive. Today, we Today we command their escape, their escape from, the grip from the grip of the terrible. Of the terrible. And, we declare, and we declare let anyone, let anyone who seek who seek and want, and want our, flesh, our flesh, our demise, our demise and, our and our blood and that of our loved one, our love let them be fed with their own, own flesh, let them be drowned with their own blood, put your hands together, fire, 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 fire. Le papa, 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 le papa
Nikata, Regotobos, Nebragada, Salakatoa, Rekete, Satakabaha, Rekesubaha, Lekoparada, Seprokotoska, let them open, be fed with their own flesh and drunk with their own blood that seek our hurt in the name of Jesus. Let the captain of the mighty be taken away. Deliver, O oh Lord. Deliver, O oh Lord, from the hands of the terrible. Every captive, Moroshada, Rekotolobosha, of this house, Mashada, Melekotabra, Rekotosha, Nebregin, Nekoshabra, Rekotosha, Masekete, Ekotosha, Rekotosha. I will worship him as long as I can breathe. Lift it up. All of us, lift up your hands. of the year. Revive your work. How many of you think we need to be revived one more time? Is there anybody here who thinks you need to be revived and God revive me one more time. 
I don't know about you, but I'm praying that prayer. Lord, revive me one more time. Revive me one more time and prolong my life that I may bring many, many, many generations to you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the midst of the, the, year, midst of the years, make, make no, no and in wrath, remember, remember mercy. Somebody say mercy. Somebody lift up and say mercy. Say, Lord, I've heard your speech. Revive you. Revive your words. Revive me one more time. And in wrath. And in anger. Remember mercy. Lift up your hands and cry for mercy. Just lift up your hands and begin to pray for mercy. Just say mercy. 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 Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Mercy for shortcomings. Mercy for pride and arrogance and rebellion. Mercy for unforgiveness. Mercy for stubbornness and bad attitude. Mercy for love of money. Mercy for love of pleasure. Mercy for love of self. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Pray that prayer right now. We need mercy. Your church need mercy. Leadership need mercy. Our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters, our siblings, our sons, our daughters, our grandchildren. Mercy, Lord. Cry for mercy. Somebody ask God for mercy. Mercy. Open your mouth and ask for mercy. 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 Now revive us, Lord. Ask Him to revive. Revive your work. Revive this house. Revive your people. Revive your leaders. Revive us. Put your hands together. Pray for revival. Pray for a revival. Lord, revive your work. Revive this house. Revive your people. Revive your sons. Revive your servants. Revive us, Lord. One more time. Revive us, Lord. Revive us. Revive us, Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus, revive us. Revive us, Lord. Revive your work. Prolong our lives and our years as many generations. Revive us, Lord. Stairs up, Lord. Cause a stirring in our hearts, in our spirit, in this house. Revive us, Lord. And show us mercy. In wrath, remember mercy. In wrath, remember mercy, Lord. Forgive, Lord. Pardon. Forgive. Forgive. Have mercy. Have mercy. On our transgressions and sins and iniquity. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. 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 Mercy, Lord. Mercy. I had a revelation early hours of this morning and I saw a helicopter that landed on a building. But the building wasn't damaged. It didn't catch fire. And there are all kinds of meaning to it. And I was screaming and telling the people in the house, take your passport, take your passport and run. Take your passport and come out. I want us to pray and intercept any surprise attack on the works of our hands, our finances, our possessions, our loved ones, our families, our wives, our husbands, our fathers, our sons, our daughters, our grandchildren, any surprise attack in the name of Jesus concerning this house and this nation, let it be intercepted and broken in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together. Block surprise attack. Intercept surprise attack. Come on somebody. Let me hear you pray. I can't hear you.
Intercept, intercept, break it, break it, avert it, avert it, put your hands together, block any surprise, attack on families, businesses, finances, loved ones, this house, our nation, put your hands up, block surprise, attack, sudden attack, strange weather patterns, block it, complication, crisis, break family crisis, break crisis, in our businesses in the name of Jesus now quickly if you are here and you own your own business and you have to pay tax and pay staff workers salary come for it Jesus we've come to draw 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 from you again Lift it up, lift it up, sing it now. to decree debt cancellation. Anything to put you in debt that you struggle, can't pay your taxes, can't pay your staff. In the name of Jesus, any surprise attack and any demonic sanctions and curse that has been placed on your business, the works of your hands and your finances to run you into any kind of debt. In the name of Jesus, we cancel and break it. Put your hands together, everybody. Break, cancel it right now. All over this place, those of you online, on TV land, wherever you are, break, cancel every sanction and every curse and every attack on the works of our hands, our finances, our businesses, our investment. We decree and declare by the blood of Jesus, death cancellation, death cancellation, death cancellation. Break it, break it, cancel it in the name of Jesus. Push it. Open your mouth, get aggressive about it. Don't play with this. Don't joke with this. This is serious. This is heavy. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We command it to break. We command death cancellation. We decree death cancellation. Let the curse break. Let the embargoes break. Let the weight be lifted. In the name of Jesus, lift it, lift it, lift it. Now, give me Genesis. Give me Genesis 42, 28. Give me Genesis 42, 28. Let the Lord restore your money. Let the Lord restore your resources. In the name of Jesus, quickly. He said unto his brethren, my money is restored. Let the money and the resources you need for that business that has been diverted and hijacked and scattered and wasted. Let it be restored. Let it be restored from right now. Restore this week. Put your hands down. Come on, restoration of resources. Let money be restored. Let our finances be restored. Let the works of our hands be restored that we may enhance the work of the Lord. Open your mouth, somebody. Pray like you are desperate. Pray like you are desperate. Shh, hear me. You know, even your prayers, even the way you pray, eh, 
is a sign of lukewarmness. I'm telling you. You see, when, when Esau came, after Jacob had taken the blessing away, then the father Isaac asked Esau, who are you? That you brought venison to take the blessing. And he said, I am your son Esau, your firstborn. And he said, who came here before you? Who was the one who came and brought venison and took the blessing? He said, I don't know, but I am Esau. Ah, and it was clear that Jacob outsmarted his brother. And the father said, son, it's too late. Listen, there's a time when it becomes too late. And that's why you need to be aggressive and stop all these lukewarm prayers. It ain't going to help you. And then, and then, Esau said, Dad, Dad, is there nothing left for me? You know what the father said? He said, son, I have nothing to give you. I have made him Lord over you. I've given him dominion over you because he was desperate enough and aggressive enough to take it. You took things for granted and assumed that it was your right. So the things that were required, the deals, the transactions, the sacrifices you must put on the altar to qualify you for that breakthrough, you assume that it is yours. And listen to what the father said. He said, but I have a clue for you. I have a key. And that's the only thing I can give you. He said, but it shall come to pass. When you can't take it anymore. When you become desperate for change. Then shall his yoke over your neck broken. And then you shall have dominion. Are you hearing me? A true story happened in Europe. There was a woman that was sick. And every night before she goes to bed, she will say, Lord, heal me. Heal me. Heal me, Lord. Lord, heal me. In Jesus' name, amen. Then she go to sleep. She did that for many ways. And one day an angel of the Lord appeared to her and said, you know something? We will appreciate it if you will be desperate a little. Because this is your kind of prayers. There's no desperation in it. You remember, you remember blind Bartimaeus? How he cried, Jesus, have mercy on me. And they shut him down. And he cried again, Jesus, have mercy on me. They said, shut up. He said, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And the Bible said, and Jesus, this one, stood still. And said, let him come to me. Leave the guy alone. Come here. What do you want? Tell somebody. You are too cool for my liking. You are too cool for my liking. Yeah. You are too cool for my liking. My chain is falling. All because of you. Are you hearing me, somebody? You are not, you are not, you are not aggressive enough. Even the way you pray is a sign of lukewarmness. You just think it can just happen. Listen, there are transactions. There are transactions. Some of you must make with God, place some things on the altar to dare God, to provoke God. You are too nice. Are you hearing me? We're going to pray one more time. I'm going to pray one more time. And this time around, in the name of Jesus, pray that scripture. 42, go back. Genesis 42, 28. Let the Lord restore your resources. Let your wasted years be restored. Let every resources and money of yours diverted be restored. Whatever that belongs to you in the possession of others, let it be restored today. Whoever is holding on to it, I need somebody to cry out. Put your hands together. Those of you online, in this house, wherever you are, show some desperation and stop that lukewarm prayers. close 
You are very close. You are very close. You are very close. Break it. Break it. Break the resistance. Break the opposition. Take possession. Take possession. Take possession. It's restoration time. Restoration time. Like a woman in travail. Like a woman at the labor wall. Press. Push. Stretch. through you are breaking through you are breaking through stretch 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 you are breaking through you are breaking out you are breaking out you are breaking thought you are breaking through you are breaking out you are breaking thought wherever you are online at home stand on your feet press get Get desperate, get desperate for the vow and take it by force. The vow and take it by force. Take it, take it by force. Take it by force. Take it by force. Now, look at me. Lift up your hands. Say, I declare before heaven and earth on the account of the blood of Jesus that I will not be denied anymore. That I will not be denied of my portion in the land of the living anymore by any calculation, by any design, by any imagination that I will not be denied. I therefore, in the name of Jesus, I break loose and I break free from every form of captivity bondage and imprisonment. I break loose. I break free. Put hands. I break loose. Break free. Break loose. Break free. Break loose. Break free. I break loose. I break free from every form of captivity. Breaking free. Breaking loose from every form of captivity. Imprisonment. Bondage. I break loose. I break free. In the name of Jesus, I break loose and free. Now, one last thing. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Any legal grounds and advantage the adversary has over my life, my goods, my possession, my destiny, and my ministry, and my future. In the name of Jesus, right now, I strip and deny him. On the account of the blood of Jesus, I strip deny him of legal grounds rights and any advantage as I put my hands together let him be stripped denied of any power of any legal ground of any advantage he has over me my life my destiny my future my finances the works of my deny him strip him put your hands God the violence take it by force Oh my God, it's time, it's time. Put your hands together, get desperate. Jesus. Hallelujah. As you take your seat, I want you to sing this song. Today, today. Today, today. Jesus will do wonders. Today, today, I need to see you. Today, today, today. take your seat. Today, today, Jesus, today, sing it, everybody. Yeah, you sing it, everybody now. Today, 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 Jesus will do wonders. Today, today, everybody, 
today, one more time. Today, 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 Jesus will do wonders. Today, today. Amen. Bow your heads. If you are here and you say, Preacher, I'm not born again. I'm not sure my name is written in the book of life. I want my name written in the book of life. I want to be born again. I want my sins forgiven. I want the blood of Jesus to cleanse me. Whoever you are, wherever you are, lift up your right hand. Let me pray for you right now, wherever you are. Preacher, I want my name written in the book of life. Come on, lift it up. Lift it up. If your hand is lifted up, come to me at the front. Come right now. Run to the front quickly. Come right now. Come right now. Come quickly. Don't be, don't be Esau. Came when it was too late. Don't do it when it's too late. Do it right now. Esau came when it was too late. By the time he came, someone had come to take it. Don't let Jacob circumvent you. Come now. Come, wherever you are. Whoever, just come the way you are. Don't say, well, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite. So I will only come when I fix it. You will never be able to fix it. I will only come when I get it right. You can't get it right on your own. You need him to help you. You need his help. You need him working with you. On your own, you can do nothing. Jesus said, for you can do nothing without me. So don't tell me, I don't want to be a hypocrite. I'm a very honest person. I want to come to Jesus when I get it right. You will never get it right. And the enemy will fight you to hinder you from getting it right. Just come as you are with whatever habit. He will help you. He will fix it. Come now. Come now. Come. Unto Jesus. You know that song? Give him your love. Give him your love today. today. Yeah. Come, Come unto Jesus. And let him have his way. his way. I haven't forgotten them. All. <laughs> Amen. I used to sing in the choir. It's all part of the Look, warmness. We've all stopped doing the things we have to do. I think I have to go back and sing in the choir to repent. Mr. Boda, Mr. Boda used to sing also in the choir. We've all backslided. Look, warmness. We become nobles and obontiers. So only the choir can sing. We don't sing anymore. Some of you got to go back singing again. Amen. Hallelujah. Those of you here, lift up your hands. Everybody lift up your hands. Say, Father, I recognize I'm a sinner. I can't save myself. Only Jesus can save. Lord Jesus, today I acknowledge you as my Savior, as my Lord. Save me. Rescue me. Cleanse me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Until the day of your appearance, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Save me and I'll be saved. Forgive me and I'll be forgiven. Rescue me and I'll be rescued. Cleanse me and I'll be clean. With your blood, give you my life. Show me my way. Turn on the light. Help me to know who I am and why I came to fulfill your purpose and mandate on my life without fail. Amen. 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 Can somebody rejoice in the house? Now, for those of you, if you turn around, please turn around. There's a gentleman in the suit there. Please follow him. He has something to offer you and he'll bring you back. Go with him, please. Go with him. Put your hands together for them as they go. Are you clapping? Tell somebody, it's time to share your faith. It's time to share your faith and your love, the love of God with others. Tell somebody, care for the dying. Rescue the perishing. Share your faith. Go to the house of your neighbors. Evangelize. Tell others about Jesus. Invite people to church. Win souls. Live for Jesus. Live for Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall prolong my life and my years as many generations. Say I will not die prematurely, but I'll live and declare the works of the Lord. In the land of the living, in the name of Jesus. Say, Jesus is my sacrificial lamb. Jesus is my sacrificial lamb. 
If you believe it, put your hands together and give him praise. Please up. Now, realize that the enemy cannot be everywhere at the same time. So he uses people, he uses demons, he uses something. Because if he doesn't have a legal ground, he can't carry out the assignment. So let's look at Uzziah 7 1. We want to deal with whatever it is that the enemy is working through and working with to resist, to hinder you again and again. Let that thing be an all. Let that weapon be taken out of his hand. Uzziah. When I would have healed Israel, mm -hmm. then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered. Lift up your hands. Say any iniquity. Any iniquity. Any legal ground. Any legal grounds. And any objection. And any objections. That I've opposed my breakthroughs. Opposed my breakthrough. Again and again. Again and again. Say any evidence. Any evidence. Any Weapon, and the weapon that the adversary, that the adversary uses, uses over, over and against, and against my, breakthroughs, my breakthroughs, my testimony, my, testimony, my, family, my family, my loved ones, my loved ones this, house, this house, my nation, my nation again, and again, again and again, say in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus I, command it, I command it as I stand, as I stand by, the blood by the blood of the covenant, of the covenant let it be, let it be and all. Even now, Even now, with immediate effect, immediate put your hands together, wherever you are, whoever you are, no. let it be an all. Let the iniquity be an all. No. Let the iniquity be an all. Let the iniquity be an all. Let the evidence be an all. Let the argument be an all. Let the legal grounds be an all. Let every objection that the enemy has used again and again, again and again, to cause you, your sons, your daughters, your family, your marriage, your investment, your business, your finances to fail, home and abroad, domestic and external, within and without, in the name of Jesus, I call for an immediate annulment of that objection, of that argument, we take the weapon from the enemy, we dispossess the enemy of any trusted weapon he has used and he uses and he depends on to set us back in any shape or form. Let him be dispossessed. Let him be dispossessed of that trusted weapon in the name of Jesus. Somebody put your hands together. Lift it up. We are not we are not the argument. We are not the objection. We are not every evidence and legal ground. We dismiss the evidence. We dismiss the evidence. We are not it by the blood of the covenant. We stand by the blood of the covenant and declare in the name of Jesus. No more setback. No more setback again and again. In the name of Jesus, lift it up. Push. If you look at Genesis 49 and 17, the issue about Dan being a serpent in the way, in the way, this week, beginning from today, any snake in your way, any enemy and any weapon, Jesus. The enemy has engaged and deployed Jesus. and release it in your way Jesus. to cross your path, Jesus. to set you back Jesus. at home, at work, at the marketplace, and that of your children and your loved one. We slay the serpent. We slay the serpent. Put your hands down. Slay right now. Slay everything. Let the serpent slay. 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 In a snake, in a snake, a shark, a pyramid, a little, 
strengthen to give you instructions so throughout the week you are standing on the same protocol over and over again till you see till you see the breakthrough tell somebody you can't hold your peace you can't stop praying the same things and the same scriptures until you see the Bible said and God said and saw he said he saw he said he saw he called and he named what he said he saw he named he called Adam named all the animals on this earth from lambs to sheep to goat to cattle you name them Adam named them all and whatsoever he called the name has been so for over 6,000 years are you hearing me somebody this week we are naming the victory we are calling permanent breakthroughs and it shall be so because we are the offspring of the Lord say yes yes but on this same protocol as we enforce this scripture the purpose of the serpent is not just to to wound your destiny helpers which is the horse is also to poison them apart from you falling back with its setbacks and we are dealing with every setback because satan hindered he said he hindered me again and again he said backs you keep falling and rising falling and rising it's a form of retrogression you keep falling and rising every time you relapse spiritual relapse you just keep going forward and back you are not advancing you are not moving but this week you will advance but lift up your hand there's a prayer we need to pray anyone who is a destiny helper that is supposed to be helping you whose mind has been poisoned about you and therefore they become adversaries instead of destiny helpers today let them change their mind let their minds about you be changed whoever they are whatever they are we flash out the poison we neutralize the poison we command them to change their mind this week they will change their mind they will call you they will reach out to you they will do the will of god concerning your life they will help you they will go out of their way to do you right they will do right by you by your children by your loved one by your investment we neutralize the venom the poison of the snake and we command them to change their mind put your hands to a prophesy and force it let them change their mind change their mind we neutralize the poison we neutralize the poison come on somebody pray with every strength and might in you in the name of Jesus lift it up put your hands command them to change their mind scripture we are using here to change their mind has to do with when Paul was beaten by a serpent a very very poisonous serpent and the people of that town and of that particular area they understood the power of the poisonous serpent and their expectation was this that Paul will fall and die any group of people who are waiting for anything bad to happen to us or any of our loved ones let them be disappointed put your hands together right now make that declaration let them be disappointed put to shame who are waiting to hear any bad news to hear anything bad or negative or evil of us our children our household this house and our nation let them be disappointed and put to shame put to us and declare disappointed put to shame that are waiting to see something bad or evil happen to us let them be put to shame and be disappointed now hear me they will wait not just a long time they will wait 
until Jesus comes. What they are waiting to see and expecting of us and our families and household and this house and this nation, they will wait till Jesus comes. They will see it. It will not happen in the name of the Lord Jesus. Is anybody hearing me? 2024 is the biggest election year in history. Apart from Ghana, 60 nations are holding election this year. 49% of the entire world are holding election this year. And there are people who have all kinds of expectations about 2024 election. What's going to happen? The violence, the killing of women and children, and all kinds of speculations are traveling all over the place. And people are not even thinking about some of the things they are saying. It's like when something goes wrong in this country, it will not affect them. And I hear some of the things and I'm amazed on how people can allow themselves to think such evil of a country. Well, some of them don't even have a visa. Some of them don't even have a passport. Some of them don't even have anywhere outside this country to stay. And yet, you should hear the things they are saying and the things they are imagining, the evil, the violence. It's like some people just have an ill will. They, have, they are programmed to just wish evil. And they are waiting for something bad to happen through this year's election. And that was what happened. They waited for a long time. And when nothing happened, they changed their mind. Those who are waiting to hear our demands, they will wait till Jesus comes. They will wait till eternity. But between now and then, we command them to change their mind. Put on that, change their mind, change their mind, change their mind, change their mind. Let them change their mind. Mind-changing process. We decree, let them change their mind. Let them change their mind. They will wait till eternity. What they are waiting to hear, what they are waiting to see, their expectations be disappointed. Let the expectation of the wicked concerning us, our children, our house, our loved ones, let it be disappointed. Disappointed. Let their expectation of us and of this house and family, country, be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, anyone, anyone and any group of people, any group of people home and abroad, home and abroad domestic, domestic and, external, and external, and anywhere, anywhere visible, visible or invisible, or invisible in, the in the name of Jesus, who have an expectation, an evil expectation of us, of our loved ones, of our household, of this house, and of our nation, waiting to hear an evil report. Of us, of our loved ones, in the name of Jesus, domestic and external, whoever they are, whatever they are, whatever they are working with, let them be disappointed. Let them be disappointed and put to shame. Put your hands together. Let them be disappointed. Put to shame. Somebody lift it up. Disappointed. Put to shame. Now, the name of Jesus. Now, First Thessalonians 1:18, he said, "I would have come unto you again and again, but Satan hindered us. Any again and again set back. Any again and again disappointment. Any again and again dating. Any again and again try and fail." in your life in the name of Jesus today we stand by the blood of the covenant and we call it to an end I call for a divine annulment of any again and again failure and setback today we are not we are not put us are not
29:14. Tell somebody we are gaining grounds. Tell somebody I'm breaking through. Tell somebody I'm rising like an eagle. I'm sorry as an eagle. I have the upper hand. Jeremiah 29:14. I will be found by you. Yes, sir. Says the Lord. Uh -huh. I will end your captivity. Say every captivity. Every captivity. Come to an end. Come to an end. Say I decree and declare. By the blood of the covenant, the, of the, the, end, the, end, the end, the end, the end, the end of every, of every affliction, affliction, suffering, suffering pain, pain, setback, setback disappointment, disappointment, interference, interference in, the in the name of Jesus, of Jesus. come to an, end. to an end. Go ahead. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, say I prophesy, I, prophesy. I, decree, I decree, I command, I command a recovery every recovery of my fortunes, a return of my stolen goods. Put your hands together, command the end and restoration, recovery of fortunes, a return of stolen goods. Put your hands together, command, decree in the name of Jesus that every stolen good of yours is being returned, that your lost fortunes is being restored, that every pain, every affliction, every suffering, every setback, every reproach, every disgrace, every mockery, nakedness, shame in your life today. I stand by the blood of the covenant and I decree an end, an end, an end, an end. And a regathering of all our losses, a regathering of every blessing scattered, every glory scattered. We come out the regathering and a recovery of every blessing scattered in the name of Jesus. Now, look at the last verse. I will gather. gather you out of the nations yes, sir. where I sent you yes, sir. and will bring you home again yeah. to your own land. Now, 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 those of you in bed, get up, get up from your bed, get up. Those of you in that sofa, get up. And stand on your feet. Lift up and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and command. I decree and command. A regathering. A regathering. A regathering. A regathering. A reunion. A reunion. That all of the Lord. Of my children, of my children, loved ones, loved ones blessings, blessings, breakthroughs, breakthroughs of, mine, of mine scattered, scattered across, across the nation. The nation. Today, I decree Today I decree and, and declare as I stand by the blood of the covenant, a regathering and a recovery of all things that concerns me scattered across the nation. Let there be a regathering, a reunion. Put your hands together, prophesy. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Say something. Keep saying it. Keep decreeing. Keep commanding. You can't hold your peace. You cannot be silenced. You cannot be silenced. In the name of Jesus. A recovery of all losses, a recovery of stolen goods, lifted up, declared, proclaimed across the nation and the highway. Come on, somebody, lift it up, lift it up, open your mouth, say something, say something, say, say what is written. Keep saying and declaring the scriptures. Now, come with me to Genesis 42, 25. Genesis 42, 25. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn 
and to restore every man's money into his sack, Yasadaka, and to give them provision for the way, and yeah. thus did he unto them. Hear yeah, me? We are commanding old and new money to be restored. That conda is new money. Old money held up is released. New money held up is released. And this is about every one of us, it's not just one person, everybody. Let everybody's money, old money and new money, held up be restored into your bosom, home and abroad, domestic and external, within and without. Let old money and new money be restored, be restored into our bosom. Open your mouth, put your hands to the prophesy. Stand by the blood of the covenant, decree, commands, old money, new money, release, restore into our bosom this day, this week, this month, this year. Let old and new money be restored, restore, release and restore, release and restore into our bosom in the name of Jesus, into your bosom. Put your hands together, declare. Some, give me some 25. Some 25 and 15. Some 25 and 15. My eyes are ever toward the Lord. Yes, Lord. For he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Out of the net. Any trap they've set for your feet. By land, by air, by water. Any ambushment. Any setup. Any snare. They've set in your way. In your going out, in your coming in, this week you will escape. Psalm 141, verse 10. Psalm 145, verse 10. NIV. Yes, sir. Let the wicked fall into their own nets yes, while I pass by in safety. We decree safety. Safety by land. Safety by air. Safety by water. Safety, safety, safety within. Safety without. Safety. Domestic safety. Domestic safety. External safety. In the name of Jesus. Safety by all means. Safety by all means. In the name of Jesus. At all front, at all level, let our feet, in the name of Jesus, be plugged out. Escape, escape, every snare, every net. Let the enemy fall into their own net. Let their own net catch them. Wise, we pass by in safety. Open your mouth. Stand by the blood of the covenant. Decree. Command safety and divine and divine escapes in the air, on land, on land, on water, on water, home and abroad, domestic and external. We command safety by all means on every front in the name of Jesus. Put your hands together, command safety by all means on every front, safety on land, safety at home. Safety, domestic and external, safety in the air, safety on water, safety within and without, somebody open your mouth, command, decree, safety by the blood of the covenant, by all means, safety, I can't hear you, push it, push it, push it, push it, safety. 
safety, safety, safety on every side. Safety. In the name of Jesus, give me Ezekiel 21, 14. Ezekiel 21, 14. Go ahead. You therefore, son of man, yes, sir. prophesy uh -huh. and strike your hands together. You know what it means to strike your hands together? Clap. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. The third time, let the sword do double damage. Uh -huh. It is the sword that slays. Yes, sir. The sword that slays the great men. Yes, sir. That enters their private chambers. Yes, sir. Wherever they are hiding. Whoever they are. Whatever their chambers are. Today and this week. This month and here. Let the double sword of the Lord locate them. Pursue them. Go after them. Go after them. Give me some 62 verse 3. Psalm 62 verse 3. Yes, sir. How long? How long, my Akusa, will you attack a man? Hey! Hey! Mosadakava! Mulayanda Kuwasalin! Kifalandu Kawasa! Go ahead. You shall be slain. Yes, sir. All of you. Let them all be slain. Slain. Whoever they are. Whoever they are. That have imagined mischief and evil, and evil concerning us. Concerning us. Our, loved ones, our loved ones. Our children. Our children. Women abroad. Women abroad. This, house, this house. This nation. This nation. Whoever they are. Whoever wherever they are. Wherever they are let the double sword of the Lord, the Lord go after them. Go after them. Pursue them. Slay them. Slay them. Slay them. Put your hands together. This day. This way, let the sword do the boat of it. 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 Let the sword slither, 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 slither. Now, let the sword go after them. Lastly, give me now three four. Lastly, now whom three four. Get the testimony ready. Get the testimony ready. Now whom three four. Because of the multitude of the hordoms of the wolf of the well-favored harlots, mm -hmm. the mistress of witchcrafts yes, that selleth nations through her hordoms mm -hmm. and families through her witchcrafts. Anyone in our bloodline, any sale. Any transaction that has taken place where your father's house and your mother's house and our bloodline is concerned, Esther said they have sold me and my people to be killed, to be slain, to be annihilated. Three things, that's what Queen Esther said. And here, the Bible talks about the hordom, that well-favored hallowed witchcraft that sells nations and sells families. Any sales that have taken place, hey. any transaction that has gone yes. into effect, today we stand by the blood of the covenant yes. and we call for an immediate annulment of that transaction by the blood of the covenant. Of the Put your answer, annul that transaction. Annul that transaction. We annul it. We annul it. Any sales that have gone into effect concerning us, our family, our loved ones, women abroad, our children, this house, our nation, let the transaction that have gone into effect and have taken place be annulled, 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 annulled. Lift up your hands. From victory on to
pray for me. Paul said, pray for me. That utterance and boldness may be given unto me. That I might open my mouth and make known the mysteries of the kingdom. Lift up your hands. Give me 2 Timothy 4, 18. I want you to declare and prophesy and command the deliverance of your father. The deliverance of your father and my seed and my household from every evil work. 2 Timothy 4, 18. Put it on the screen. As we lift up our hands, whoever you are, wherever you are, begin to declare by the blood of the covenant the deliverance of our father and of his seed and household. Put your hands up, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Deliver us from our father and his household. Every evil way. Deliverance from our father and his household. Deliverance from our father and his household. Deliverance from our father and his household. To whom be glory forever. In the name of Jesus, we come back preservation. We come back preservation. We come back preservation. We find preservation. Preservation. Now in the name of Jesus, as you lift up your hands, whoever you are, wherever you are, I stand by the blood of the covenant and declare that this is your week of permanent breakthroughs. This is your week of divine interventions. Let the angels be released. Let the angels be engaged. I engage the angels. I deploy them. I activate the angels of the covenant. The angels of the hairs of salvation. As a hair of salvation, I deploy your angels. I engage them. I send them forth to go across the nations, to go everywhere, and to bring your fortunes, to bring your brain truth to return your stolen goods to deliver you to go ahead of you to precede you to preserve you in the air on land on water at home abroad domestic external let your angels advance you advance your cause bring your breakthroughs break their resistance pursue your enemies pursue your enemies Execute them, make their way swiftly in the name of Jesus. Let your angels excel in strength, do the command and the bidding of the Lord concerning you, your loved ones. Them that concern you, home and abroad. Let your angels remember you for good and do you good in the name of Jesus. Somebody break through on every side. Somebody break through. On every side, I command your chains break. I command prison gates break. I command ancient gates, ye everlasting gates. Be ye lifted up, be ye lifted up, and let them come through. Let them break through. Break through on every side. Break through in your going out. Break through in your coming in. I decree. Have the upper hand, have the upper hand, have the upper hand, clap your hands, declare upper hand, upper hand, upper hand. Now in the name of Jesus, as you live here, I command your testimonies. I command the release of your testimonies. The Lord put laughter in your mouth and a smile on your face. And let it be said, as it is written in Psalm 126, that when the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. Yes, Lord. And they said that there was laughter in our mouth. Yes, Lord. Let there be laughter in your mouth. Celebrate the, the victory. Have the upper hand. Love you. See you. Amen. Same time. Next week, Monday, 5.30. God bless you. Give me Proverbs 19.21. Proverbs 19. There are many devices in a man's heart. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Hear me. The imaginations out there about us is not a joke. There are people imagining things. There are projections. There are predictions. There are programmings in the womb of time where people are devising evil. 
devising our head and our demise. But it is written, against all this, the counsel of the Lord shall prevail. The counsel of the Lord shall prevail. Today, in the name of Jesus, anything they have devised, any projection and imagination, any thoughts, and any programming in the heart, in the womb of sorceress, diviners, familiar spirits. Are you hearing me? Warlocks, false prophets, false apostles, in the name of Jesus, on the account of the word of the Lord and the superior blood of the Lamb, let it be aborted. Let it be intercepted. Let it be arrested. Put your hands together. Give me some high energy. Pray right now. circumstances what you call a mistake and what you call a mess is all working together as long as you pray for your good any weapon they have formed by air by land by water to disadvantage you to hurt you in any shape or form I declare by the word of the Lord it shall not stand. It will not work. Neither shall it come to pass. Isaiah 7:7. 7, 7. Say it will not work. It will not work. Say it will not work. Say their imaginations, their projections, their predictions, their thoughts, expectations, demands, ill will, words. In the name of Jesus, in the atmosphere. Those who speak lies and evil of us say their words, their declarations, their predictions, their imaginations, their thoughts. In the name of Jesus, it shall not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. Declare it right now, it shall not stand. Lamentation 3.36 The Bible says who will see Let me see Yeah give me the next one Yeah Who is he that saith And uh -huh. it cometh to pass uh -huh. When the Lord commandeth it not Listen Whatever they have spoken There are three kinds of curses Spoken curses Written curses Inward curses any curse, any pronouncement made by anyone anywhere, visible or invisible, in secret or publicly, we declare it will not stand, neither shall it come to pass. We intercept the power of their words. We overturn it 
as we put our hands together in the name of Jesus. We intercept and overturn it. In the name of Jesus. We intercept and overturn. Tabis. Neki tu kalas. Sileki tu kadaya. Mili kito kumba la sabis. Yanda la kahasa. Kidola kisang. Moyati kabila. Epanuka sindaba. Akindo le sitaya. Akindo le sitaya. Kipaka la hasa. Kifunde kipala sidi. He shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. They are words, they are declarations and pronouncements, imaginations and thoughts, threatenings and intimidations. Who not stand, neither shall it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Now, hear me. Lift up your right hand. Say, because I believe, I speak. Give me 2 Corinthians 4.13. 2 Corinthians 4.13. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also today believe, and therefore speak. How many of you believe the scriptures? For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Today we are declaring, in the name of Jesus, they are threatenings. They are intimidations. It will not work. It will not stand. They are imaginations. They are expectations. They are thoughts about us and our family and this house and our reputation. It will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. It will not work. Open your mouth. Put your hands together. Declare it. It will not stand. It will not work. In the name of Jesus. It will not come to pass. It will not work. In the name of Jesus. It will not work. It will not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Now, lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare before heaven and earth. And I declare to the elements. In the name of Jesus. Right now. That henceforth. Let nothing. Threaten. Let nothing. Intimidate. Let nothing. Compromise. Or threaten. My security or that which concerns me by land, by air, by water, home and abroad. Let nothing, let nothing, nothing, nothing. Put your hands and declare nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. Sir, by heaven or earth, by land or water or by air, nothing by elements. Threaten, intimidate, or compromise my security, my safety, my peace, life, going out of coming in. In the name of Jesus. Salaba Katula Mahasana. Sile Katulati Kasada. Sikalama Katala Hassan. Now, now, give me Job. Job 21, verse 8. Give me new living translation. New living translation. Yes, sir. They live to see their children grow up and settle down. Uh -huh. And they enjoy their grandchildren. You know that word settle down? It means that you will finish everything. You will finish everything. And you will relax. And you will enjoy. Declare it in the name of Jesus if you believe it. I will live to see I will live to see. Say it with your mouth. Say it. If you believe it, say it. I will live to see my children grow up. My grandchildren. My great-grandchildren. I will settle down and enjoy them. If you believe it, say it. 
If you believe it, say it. Say it in the name of Jesus. Now, give me, give me First Kings, First Kings five and verse four. Quickly, First Kings five and four. But King now, James. King James. Uh huh. But now, but the now Lord. the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. Receive rest on every side. Say, I prophesy rest on every side. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Uh -huh. So that there is neither adversary. Say, no more adversary. No more adversary. Say, no more adversaries. Within or without. No more adversaries. Go ahead. No evil occurrence. Huh? Somebody say, no evil occurrence. No evil occurrence. Say, no more evil occurrence. Do you believe it? Yeah. Then, with some high energy, put your hands and declare it. Say it. No more evil of terror. No more evil of terror. No more evil of terror. Kadila Kasida Mosa. No more evil of terror. No more evil of terror. There will be no more evil of terror in this house, in my family. In the name of Jesus, no more evil or terror. Open your mouth, open your mouth, say, declare it. In the name of Jesus, no more evil or terror. In the name of Jesus. Now, give me, give me Zephaniah 3.15. No more evil or terror. Zephaniah 3.15. Quickly, quickly, quickly. The Lord has taken away thy judgment. Say, every judgment is taken away from among us. Say the pointing of finger is taken away in the name of Jesus. Say every transgression and iniquity is taken away. Go ahead. He has cast out thine enemy. Every enemy among us is cast out. I said every enemy is cast out. No more adversaries. No more adversaries. Within or without. No more adversaries among us. Say no more. No more adversaries. No more. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. The king of Israel, even uh -huh. the Lord, is in yes. the midst of thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see no evil anymore. Somebody say, no more evil, no more evil. Are you ready? Are you ready? Give me some high energy. Declare, no more evil, no more evil. No more pain. No more grief. No more hurts. No more offenses. No more evil. In the name of Jesus, no more hands, no more offenses, no more evil. In the name of Jesus, no more evil. In the name of Jesus, Christ. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Give me Psalm 61 verse 6. Psalm 61 verse 6. Quickly. Thou shalt prolong. The king there is you. The Lord shall prolong your life, your life. And your years as many generations. Do you believe it? How do you release your faith? By your mouth. So release it by your mouth. And declare, the Lord shall prolong my life. And my years as many generations. Put your hands down. Give me some high energy. Give me some high energy. Declare it. The Lord shall prolong my life. And my years as many generations. Open your mouth. Declare it right now. Open your mouth, open your mouth, say it, say it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lift up your hands, lift up your hands. I will bless the Lord and give. Peace. 
Whatever you hear, say it. You hear me? Okay, block this one. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Say one. Say two. Say three. 
Now, say, I can hear. Put the mic on your mouth. Say, I can hear. I can hear. Say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, one. One. Say, two. Two. Say, three. Three. Say, Jesus. Jesus. It's love. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. I want that lady back here. You. That lady, yeah, come back here. Okay, which of the ears? This one. In the name of Jesus, spirit of deafness, you are dismissed. You can't hold her hearing anymore. Break loose. Come out. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, go interview her. Go. Interview her. Speak. Which one? Hold your mouth and hold your ears. Okay, but you can hear now. Okay, we want to pray that from tonight it will cease. In the name of Jesus, we block the enemy in the name of Jesus. Loose him. Let him go. Which of your ears? You were born with it. Okay. Okay, you remove the hearing aid. Have you removed it? Okay. In the name of Jesus, I need some more hands. Bishop Oboda, I need some. Pastor Tim, I need some help quickly. Quickly, quickly. I need some help. Um, quickly, quickly, all of you come quickly. Say in the name of Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Lord is here. Say Jesus. Say one. Say two. Say three. Okay, put a microphone on his mouth for me. Say Jesus. Say one. One. Say two. Three. Say I can hear. Say I can hear. Say it loud. I can hear. Come on, say I can hear. I can hear. Now, this guy was born deaf in these ears. He was wearing a hearing aid. He removed the hearing aid. He can hear now. Can somebody put your hands together? Somebody give God praise. Check this lady for me. Check this lady. Listen, I need you to check this lady. Check this lady. Bishop, check someone. How is this lady doing? She can hear. Huh? Okay, quickly. I pray for her. Just check it. She's here. She's here. Listen, I need you people. Don't stand. Go around. Interview them. I don't have time. Check them. Check them. Somebody put your hands together. Again. Strong. She can hear. Okay, quickly. Let her block the other ear. Speak from her back. Speak from behind. Speak from behind. Some of them can read your lips. So speak from behind. Speak from behind. Speak from behind. Yes. See, let me hear you. Put this on her mouth. Say Jesus. Say one. One. Say two. Say three. Say praise the Lord. Okay, give the Lord praise. Give the Lord some praise. Who else? Who else? Bring them to me quickly, quickly. Bring them to me fast. Fast. I don't have time. Who else? Yeah, bring him. Which of the ears? This was deaf. Now come stand here. Block the one you can hear from. All right. Somebody help me fast. Say Jesus. Say one. Say hallelujah. Say I can hear. Give him praise. Give him praise. Come on, give him praise. 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 Quickly. Which of the ears? This one. Stand here. Block the one you can hear from. Put the mic. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I unblock you, spirit of defiance and stubbornness. Come out! Name of Jesus. Break your power over him right now. Lose the ear. You defining spirit and stubbornness. In the name of Jesus. Let him go. In Jesus' name. Now. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Put a mark on his mouth. Say it loud. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say one. One. Say two. two. Say three. Okay, give God some praise. Put your hands together. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give me some high energy. In the name of Jesus. Now, before you bring them to me, make sure, make sure before they come here, you've examined them. I don't want them coming here and pray me, Shagara. You hear me? Did you? You checked him out. 
Okay, which of the ears? The left. Which is the right? So you can hear with the right. Block the right. Stand this way. Put the mark on his mouth. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say one. Say two. Say hallelujah. Say praise the Lord. All right, give, give God some praise. Put your hands together. If I give him praise. Now, now listen. Now, my time is up. Eh? Two of them. Okay, give me the two quickly. Come, quickly, quickly. Which of the ears? And how long have you been deaf in the other one? Okay. The right ear. Okay, so which one can you hear from? This one. This one is, is better. Okay, so block this one. Okay. Say Jesus. Say one. Say praise the Lord. Say I can hear. Give him praise. Come on, put your hands together. Give him some praise. Are you praising him? What is wrong with you? You are not excited. Are you jealous? That is are you jealous? Are you jealous? Come on, put your hands together. Give him praise. Come on, somebody, give him praise. of the ear? The right one. Which one can you hear from? Okay, block the one you can hear from. Okay. Say Jesus. Say one. Say praise the Lord. Say I can hear. Put your hands together. Give him praise. Give him praise. Praise him. Okay. The rest of you. Okay, the last one. Quickly, come. Which one? Come quickly. You are too beautiful not to hear. Thank God it's open. Okay. Which one? You're right. So block this one. Okay. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say one. Say praise the Lord. Say hallelujah. Somebody give him praise. Come on, somebody give him praise. Somebody give him praise. The last one. Let me take the last one. Which of the ears? Okay, block the one you can hear from. This one. This one is the one that was deaf. Okay. So say Jesus. Jesus. Say one. Wow. Say I can hear. I can hear. Say praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. Put your hands together. Give him some praise. Give him some high, 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 high praise. Come on, somebody. Give me some high energy praise. Amen. Okay, listen. Somebody take this testimony. My time is up. Stand on your feet. Quickly. Stand on your feet. Somebody take that testimony. Come on, stand on your feet. My time is up. Let's go ahead. Draw, draw from you, draw from you again, again, again. We come to draw, we come to draw, draw, draw. And the tumor is disappearing now. Come here. Two. Anybody bleeding? Anyone? You are bleeding. You are bleeding. Blood. Hemorrhaging. Come forward right now. Something is happening. Just come stand here and touch yourself. Something is happening. Tumor, growth, assist, bleeding. Just come stand here. We've come to draw, draw, draw. your right hand. Say we command. Say we command. In the name of Jesus. Every growth, every tumor, every cyst, wither, disappear. Right now, as we put our hands together, wither, disappear from their bodies, from their organs. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Estella, come. Sue, come quickly. I need some daughters come with you. In the name of Jesus. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Wither. Wither. 
disappear in the name of Jesus we can disappear now stop there now every bleeding and hemorrhaging I cause to cease I cause to cease bleeding hemorrhaging cease in the name of Jesus command your healing in the name of Jesus amen now you see you ladies standing here all these ladies standing here go out with Sue out there and with her check yourself some of you the tumor has disappeared the cyst is reducing some is gone they're bleeding and so go go with the two of them you see go with them quickly go check yourself you are women so go and check yourself with the women I don't want any man hey my friend you are a man man come here man I want that man come here yeah you're a man don't follow the women come man he has one yeah let's let somebody else check it Bishop go go with Bishop check in go from go go with this up now hear me every head's bar every head's bar every eye close right now if you are here you are not sure your name is written in the book of life the Bible said and the dead and the living stood before God and whosoever name was not found in the book was cast into the lake of fire today if your name is not written in the book of life you know it so I'm making three other calls. Number one, if you want your name written in the book of life, lift up your right hand, I want to pray for you. Nobody will go to hell because you sin. You only go to hell because you rejected the Savior, Jesus. Number two, I want to pray for those of you who used to be a believer, you backslided. You used to pray, you used to study your Bible, you were in church, you were involved, you were offended, you were hurt. Somebody offended you because of that, you've given up. Your work with God. You come to church, but it's yo-yo. You become lukewarm. It's not like before. You're offended and hurt about something. Thirdly, I want those of you who said, I want to be a member of this church. No soldier goes to war alone. As Christians, we are soldiers. We must belong to a regiment or a battalion. You can't stand alone. They'll kill you like something. They'll take you out. You have to belong. So number one, I want my name written in the book of life. Two, I want to come back to church. I want to let go the head, the pain. Three, I want to be a member of this church. Those three categories, come forward. Come now, quickly. Come quickly. We want, we've come to draw. Draw. Please come, 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 come. I'm waiting for you. Please come. Please come. Don't stand there. It might be too late one of these days. Just come as you are. It might be late one of these days. Please come, 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 come. Come. Come from you again. Please come. Lift up your right hand, those of you here. Lift up your right hand. Say, Heavenly Father, I recognize that in sin, did my mother conceive me. Thank you for sending Jesus to die in my place, to go to hell for me so I don't have to die prematurely and I don't have to go to hell because he died for me. He died in my place. Lord Jesus, today, before heaven and earth, I recognize you as Savior and Lord. I accept you. Come into my heart. Write my name in the book of life. Cleanse me with your blood. Seal me with the Holy Ghost against the day of redemption. I thank you, Heavenly Father. Standing on the same protocol, going back to Genesis 49, the 17 verse, there are a few points here we need to really stick on fast. Number one, the serpent bites your destiny helpers. Uh, whatever you are, say destiny helpers. Two, to poison them. And three, to cause the rider to fall back. And that will fall back has to do with setting you back. One, two, delaying your progress. And three, letting or causing others to overtake you, to go ahead of you. So you need to catch up, means to recover. And then you need to overtake. You need to overtake and to recover. Amen? Amen. But before you overtake and you recover, you have to deal with the setback because something has caused you to fall back 
So write the point, whoever you are, wherever you are, this is important. Realize that your divine helpers, number one, have been beaten by the snake. Two, poison. Poison has to do with, they have done things for them to change their mind, for them to not to help you and to look at things and to look at you in a different way and to restrain or restrict them from doing what God has commanded them to do for you as your destiny helpers. So you want to deal with the, the bite of the snake. You want to deal with the poison of the snake. You want to deal with the setback because you are falling back and add to the setback any form of retrogression. And it can be mental, emotional, physical, marital, family, financial, business, investment, any form of setback, override and reverse it in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then command the spirit of the overtaker and then command recovery of all things. These are the points. Put your hands together, open your mouth, begin to deal with this. We decree and declare that let the poison of the serpent be flushed out in the name of Jesus. Let the poison of the serpent be flushed out. Be flushed out, they flash out. We command the poison of the serpent to be flushed out out of our life. Anything that has been attacked by the viper of the serpent, let it be blocked in the serpent. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that, O oh Lord, in the agenda of the serpent, let it be blocked, let it be interrupted, let it be intercepted, let it be blocked. In the name of Jesus, E ya vale cosa ali fahata ale kabara e ya vara kada e ya vara kada let the fuckers in the name, name of Jesus we just spend one minute on that let's spend another minute go to Genesis 42:28 KGV Genesis 42:28 mm -hmm. and he said unto his brethren my money is restored <laughs> And lo, it is even in my sack. Mm -hmm. And their heart failed them, mm -hmm. and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God had done unto us? God is about to do something this week that will blow your mind. The Bible said that when the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. You are about to dream a dream. Because God is about to do something that is mind-blowing, that will blow your mind. This is that day. This is the week of mind-blowing testimonies, the doing of the Lord. It will blow your mind. You will stand in awe. Now we are commanding, let our fortunes and our monies and our treasures and our riches and our testimonies be restored. Lift up prayer for the next one minute. Restoration of fortunes. Restoration of our money. Restoration of our treasures. Restoration of our riches. Restoration of lands, houses, properties, marriages, wives, children, grandchildren, loved ones, home and abroad. Decree, declare, restoration. Let the Lord restore. Restore. You are one minute. Stay on the point. Stay on the point. In the name of Jesus. Restoration of your business. Your life. Strategic relations. Destiny help. Your health. I will restore your health unto you. Say as the Lord. I will restore health unto you. Push it in the name of Jesus. Push it in the name of Jesus. Push it in the name of Jesus. I will restore health unto you. Now, 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 these things are commands I'm giving you. And when you go home, it's like a prescription from a doctor. It doesn't end here. Command your week. It's throughout the whole week. And you pray these scriptures and prayers three, four times a day. Every minute, five minutes here, two minutes here, one minute here, five minutes here, 30 minutes here. You stay on the same protocol throughout the whole week until you see the manifestation. Tell somebody, pray till you see. Keep declaring till you see. 
you don't stop the prayer until you see that is what prayer is all about. When the Bible says pray without ceasing, men ought to always to pray and not to faint. What it means is you don't stop the prayer, you don't stop enforcing the scriptures until you see. Tell somebody pray till you see. The manifestation. The manifestation. Now go to Jeremiah 30, 17. There are things that needs to be restored. Help. Peace. Joy. Breakthroughs. Strategic relationships. Jesus. Hear me. Destiny helpers that the enemy has dropped and denied you. Today and this week, they are being restored. Restore. Put your hands together. Begin to declare right now. Jeremiah 30, 17. Command the restoration. Destiny help. Restoration. Destiny help. Let the destiny help. Lift it up. Be restored. Lift it up. Restoration. Destiny help. In the name of God. Command restoration. Destiny help. Command restoration of lost goods. Command restoration of destiny. Destiny helpers, but a restoration of lost fortune, but a restoration of every blessing. Restore, 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 divine restoration with the great and the clear restoration, restoration, divine restoration over our life. Destiny helpers, restoration, restore, 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 divine restoration. Now. Now, I'm being very strategic. We are not going to spend too much time on one thing because my assignment is to give you orders and commands. And when you live here, you stay on the same protocol throughout the whole week till I see you next week, Monday. Say yes. yes. Now, we talked about two women. Number one, women don't kill or sacrifice or eat or boil their children. Not even in the animal kingdom. So when you talk about wickedness or you talk about household wickedness, the word wickedness here means the unthinkable, the unimaginable. Even in the animal kingdom, mothers don't eat their own children. So for a woman and a mother to boil her son and to eat her son, it tells you that this is wicked. Then another woman, another mother slept on his child and killed it. And went for her friend's child, son. And when the friend refused to bring the son, she said, divide the child into two. After she has killed hers, she went the extra mile to divide somebody's child into two. Then Atalia. Jezebel's daughter went after all the promised seed or the royal seed and she killed all her grandchildren. Which grandmother kills her grandchildren? Annihilated all her grandchildren. Second Kings 11.1 1. She went after all her grandchildren to destroy all the royal seed. Now watch this. Any grandmother, any mother, any grandfather, any father, that have transacted any transaction in the spirit at the marketplace in the spirit to annihilate sons and daughters and grandchildren. Now hear me. Esther said in Esther chapter 7 verse 3 and 4 she said to King Ahasuerus my people have been sold. They've sold us and the man that sold the people of God had died by the name of Haman. But the transaction was still in force. He had died. But the transaction he did or made, the decree was still in force. To annihilate the entire Jewish race. He said to kill, to destroy, to annihilate my people. So any transaction and any deal that has gone into effect long ago by a grandfather, a grandmother, a mother, or a father to annihilate children, sons and daughters, royal seed, promised children in the family, grandchildren at the prime of their life, at the prime of their life, at the prime of their life. Let that transaction, let that covenant, let that deal 
be abolished. Abolish. Put your hands together. Go back. Go back. Abolish it. Abolish. Do like a salary. Do like a salary. Be a man. Yes. I'll be sold to be killed, slaughtered, and I let it. Now in the name of Jesus, let the transaction be in my bloodline. My father's house, my mother's house, my any of my grandfather, or grandmother, or maternal and maternal side, to kill, to slaughter, to annihilate, and destroy me and my seed in the prime of our lives. Let the transaction be abolished, abolished, abolished by the blood of the covenant. Let it be a body and over ten. 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 I decree and declare that in the prime of my life and that of my seed, that now none of us will be killed, slaughtered, nor annihilated under any circumstances. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, now hear me. There is a counter decree you must make. Whoever you are, whatever you are, by the blood of the covenant, the blood of the covenant upon the authority of the scriptures, the of the scriptures you are declaring today that in the prime of your life and that of your seed, your children, your children's children, and your grandchildren, that you will not be killed prematurely. That you and your children will not be slaughtered. The name of Jesus. That you will not be annihilated. The name of Jesus. Three things. You must make a counter declaration. I will not be killed. I will not be slaughtered. I will not be annihilated. Me and my seed. Me and my house. Put your hands together. Declare it. I will not be killed. I will not be annihilated. Me and my house. We decree and declare this morning that we will not be killed. We will not be annihilated. Then the agenda of the enemy to kill, to slaughter, to devour anyone. Let it be accepted. Intercepted. Intercepted. We will not be killed. We will not be annihilated. In the agenda to kill and to destroy any life. In the year 2024, let that agenda be intercepted, intercepted, intercepted. We will not be killed. We and our household, you and your household, shall not be killed. Your children will not be annihilated. Your children will not be slaughtered. Whatever plan the enemy has to kill, to steal, and to destroy, this morning by prayer, through prayer and in prayer, we intercepted, 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 intercepted. Intercepted in the attempt to kill, to annihilate our family, our bloodline, our children, our destiny by divine authority. Let such an agenda be intercepted, be intercepted, be intercepted, be intercepted, be intercepted, be intercepted. Now, in the name of Jesus, Nehemiah 5 11, standing on the same protocol, these are things I'm giving you that you continue in prayer. This is the Bible said in Colossians 4 2. Go there quickly and come back to Nehemiah. Colossians 4 2. He said, What? Continue earnestly in prayer, uh -huh. being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. So I'm giving you something that you will continue after this morning. So it's not just the breakthrough is not just here and then that is it. No, I'm giving you instructions, directions. So throughout the week, throughout the day, you start on the same protocol and you continue. Go back to Nehemiah 5 11. Restore now to them, mm -hmm. even this day, yes, sir. their lands, Salute. their vineyards, yes, sir. their olive groves, yes, sir. and their houses. Yes, sir. Also, a hundredth of the money uh -huh. and the grain, yes. the new wine, yes. and the oil yes. that you have charged them. Do you see the things on the screen? Mark them with yellow marks right now. I want everybody to begin to command restoration of anything on the screen that you need and you desire from lands to houses to money to fires. Open your mouth, put your hands together. Whoever you are, whatever you are, the points are on the screen. 
in your home or your phone, wherever you are, begin to command, begin to decree, begin to proclaim, begin to declare, put your hands together, restoration of these things, open your mouth, lift up prayer. Houses, thousands of money, let the Lord restore, restore, command us, we command us, lands, veyards, holy crosses, houses, hundreds of monies, and let the release, let the restoration of land be released, veyards. Olivia, Olivia, houses, people that can see, hundredfold of money, lose the feet that lose our tongue, new wine, oil, lift it up, but let it declare, out of the same protocol, in the name of Jesus, the release of lands, release our lands, we release our lands, we release our fears, we release our oil, we release our threats of money, thousands, of money. Let that money be released. Let that money be released. Let that money be released. In the name of, the name of Jesus. Come to Isaiah 29 and 5. These scriptures, you enforce them as you go home throughout the week. Go ahead. But suddenly, your ruthless enemies will be crushed like the finest of dust. Your many attackers will be driven away like chaff before the wind. Suddenly, in an instant, let them disappear. That divides our heads. Pursue us and our children and seek our demise. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whoever they are, whatever, let them disappear. disappear. Put your hands together. Make that declaration. Let them take their turn. And the one that demands our head, let them disappear. 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 Let them disappear. Whoever they are, wherever they are, whosoever that sought for our life, sought for our place, whoever they are, wherever they are, let them disappear. 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 Like divine authority, we decree and declare in the personality assign us to carry out an evil agenda against our household, against our life, against our destiny, against our business. Let them disappear, 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 disappear. Let them disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare and declare. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, whoever you are, whatever, say Heavenly Father. According to the scriptures, let them that devise my head and my demise and that of my seed, my loved ones and household, home and abroad, say let them be as chaff before the wind. Yea, make them as smoke that disappear by the passing of the wind. That divides my head and my demise and the head and the divine of my house, this house and of my nation, whoever they are, whatever they are working with, oh Lord, my God, as iron melts before fire, so let them, in the name of Jesus, perish that divides wickedness against me, my house, this house, this nation. Put your hands together and enforce it now. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands. Say, I command. I decree that this week is my week of supernatural recovery on every side. A recovery of my stolen goods, my strength, my energy, my strategy, relationships, favors, wealth, treasures, 
riches in the name of Jesus. I declare that this is my week of mind blowing strategic recoveries on every side, home and abroad, domestic and external. And I declare, furthermore, it is my week of good news. Good news. There shall no evil befall me or anyone that concerns me. Home and abroad, put your hands and declare. Declare. Good news. Come on. Go ahead. Good news. Home and abroad. Good news. Declare good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Declare good news. This week and beyond. Good news. Good news. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I want all the bishops. And the pastors to come and stand here, apart from Bishop Naku, all the pastors stand in line, and the bishops stand in line here, stand in line, one here. Make make sure there is room. Make sure there is room between you. Face the people. Face the people. Face the people. All right. Face the people. Come close. Move move this way. Okay. Make sure there is room. Immediately after the service, if you need any prayer, you need them to agree with you on anything. They are in line here. I have trained them. These are my sons and daughters. They've been trained. They will stand in agreement with you. Don't come to me to pray for you. My job is to train you to become an army and a force yourself. So wherever you are, you know how to stand your ground and fight. Don't make Papa a merchandise. Okay, don't train me. I want to last for you. I want to be here for your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. These sons and daughters of mine, they are loaded. You can train them. When you drain them, I'll lay hands on them. They'll be refilled. But when you drain me, none of them can lay hands on me. So after, if anybody needs anyone to agree with you, you can come for it. They will agree with you. But this is your week of good news. Anything that have delayed in the name of Jesus is being expedited. This is your week of divine and supernatural elevation. Breakthroughs, acceleration, every deal transaction that was held up is released. It's coming to you. It's accelerated. The word of the Lord is accelerated. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Recover in the name of Jesus on every side. Laughter in your mouth. Testimony on every side. Breakthrough on every side. Upper hand on every side. Nothing shall by no means hurt you or your loved ones by air, by land, by water. Yes. You will hear good news. Yes. You will hear good news. Yes. In the name of... Give me Genesis 49 and the 17 verse. Genesis 49, 17. Go ahead. That shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path, mm -hmm. that bites the horse heels, so that his rider shall fall Backward. Watch this. Any snake in your way, let it be slain. Number two. Number two. You see, the enemy we are dealing with eh, is an old serpent. Tell somebody he's older than you. Yeah. So watch this. The serpent does not go for the rider, it goes for the horse. What is the significance of a horse? A horse is your destiny helper. A horse is designed to help you to get to your destination. So what the enemy does is attack your destiny helpers. And two things he does to them. It beats the heel, so it's wounded. A lot of you, your destiny helpers are wounded. Number two, they are not just wounded. After attacking it and beating it, it releases a poison. Some of you, your destiny helpers, their mind has been poisoned about you. I'm telling you. So there are people who must help you, do things for you. It is in their power to do it, but somebody has poisoned them. Listen. Me, eh? 
a lot of people try to poison me about some people. Yeah, they come to me and say, Papa, be careful of this guy. Papa, this guy, on your papa. Papa, this girl, ni mwe hu. Now I'm okay, tell me why. Justify it. And sometimes I will make my own investigation only to find out that those people, they don't want me to deal with. The two of them have issues. They used to be tied and they have issues and they want to use me to avenge them. They want to program me against them. And I have seen over the years, one time in this country, there was a president who somebody very close to him went to poison him about me. It was difficult. There was nothing anybody could say to change his mind. And his right hand man called me and said, I was then a bishop. He said, Bishop, can you fast and pray? I'm say yes. He said, the way the man thinks about you when he hears your name, he's angry. And I said, what have I done? Then he asked me something about a preacher in this country. He said, do you know this preacher? I said, yes. He said, he's the one that has poisoned him about you. So I went to that preacher and I said, I'm told that you, you've poisoned the big man about me. He said, I don't, and I said, I'm just telling you, whether you did it or not, I'm just telling you that I know. And I said, it's just a matter of time, we will see who wins. And hear me, the thing changed, and me and him became like this. I would just be there, he would call me, and he said, Archbishop, where are you? I said, I'm in my office. He said, I'm coming down. Let's have tea. That was a Monday poison. So the purpose, the snake, is not just the bite to wound your divine helpers. It's also to poison them. Change their mind about you. I've seen sisters who men were in love with them. Good men were in love with them. Everything was working out until they went and told a friend, a loved one, a family member, a schoolmate, and something was said, and suddenly the man changed his mind. I've had a situation like that. One of my own spiritual daughters, I introduced to one of my sons. Everything was going on. They were excited, happy, planning the marriage and everything. I was so proud. Suddenly, a friend of hers went and revealed something that happens when she was in school to the guy's sister and the guy's sister and their family went and investigated it and it was true but this was something that happened over 20 years ago there was nothing I said in this world my son said papa I'm sorry I can't marry her lift up your hands any snake in your way Assigned to beat your divine helpers, to bite them, and to poison them, and to change the mind of your destiny helpers so that you will struggle in life. Let them be slain. And let your divine helpers be delivered. In the name of Jesus. And let anybody, hear me. If you look at Acts chapter 28, something happened there. After the shipwreck, Apostle Paul, they came to an island called Mortar. He was cold. So they put some sticks, firewood together, lighten it, and a snake came out. A feminine snake, serpent. It came out and it beat Paul. And the Bible said, all the people of the island, knowing that this serpent is a very poisonous serpent, that there is no way, there is no way it can beat you and you live. So the Bible said they were all standing watching and expecting Paul to fall and die. And when Paul didn't die, they changed their mind. I prophesy, whoever has been poisoned not to help you, they will change their mind. In the name of Jesus. From today, they are changing their mind. Amen. All your destiny helpers who will not help you won't return your call. 
don't want to listen to you, will not hear your sign, who don't want to hear your name, let them change their mind. Let the snake be slain. Let the poison be neutralized. Let them change their mind. So three things. Slay every snake in your way. Let your destiny help us recover. Let them change their mind. Let the poison be neutralized. Is anybody ready? Yes. Hear me. This prayer, eh, it will change your life. Yeah. When I come and stand here and I give you prayer points, eh, I'm not just crazy. I know what I'm telling you. Ay, 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 ay. Me, when I'm reading the Bible, eh, I just then read in the Bible. Oh, when I'm reading, I'm looking at what is the mystery. Where is he hidden? Demystify the mystery. And hear me. If you look at Genesis 49, eh, it's not just the snake attacking your divine helpers or your des destiny helpers. There's also something there. He said, so that the rider will fall backwards. You know what that means? Set back. To set you back. Number two, to ground you. Number three, retrogression. You graduated from university, but they will take you back to primary school. Once you've graduated, that's what retrogression means. You've graduated, you walk. They'll take you back to nursery. Yeah. Because your divine helpers, your destiny helpers have been grounded, so you can't move. You have what it takes, but you can't function. And you, I'll show you another scripture after this. It will blow you apart. Today, today, let the order change. Change. You didn't hear me. I said, let the order change. Yes. Let the table stand in our favor from the today. Name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command. The immediate. The immediate. Healing and recovery. Healing and recovery. Of my destiny helpers. Of my destiny helpers. And neutralize. And neutralize. The poison. The poison. Of the snake. Of the snake. The poison. The poison. Of any. Of any. Venom. 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 Of the snake. Of the snake. The serpent. The serpent. In my divine helpers. In my divine helpers. In my destiny helpers. In my destiny helpers. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command. Anyone. Anyone. Who must help me. Who must help me. Who has been poisoned? Who has been poisoned? Whose mind has been poisoned? Whose mind has been poisoned? Against me. Against me. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Domestic and external. Domestic and external. Whatever they are. Whatever they are. Within the church. Within the church. Outside of the church. Outside of the church. At the marketplace. At the marketplace. On the political scene. On the, political on the media scene. scene. On the Whoever they are. Whoever whatever they are. Whatever they are. Let them change their mind. I prophesy. I, prophesy. I demand and command. Demand and a change of mind. A change of mind. Oh. Oh. Let my destiny help us be healed, recover in the name of Jesus. I flash out and neutralize the poison. Put your hands together, open your mouth, pray. Neutralize the poison, flash out and neutralize the poison. Every poison, neutralize the poison.
you to rise up. Amen. And not just that, but I command and prophesy your recovery. In the name of Jesus. And the recovery is on different levels and dimensions. In the name of Jesus. Some of you a psychological setback, mental setback, mm. emotional setback, mm. marital setback, mm. relational setback. Mm. For some of you, you always, there is something I call unavailable love. Unavailable love is always engaging men who are not your kind and your type. And your type of men or your type of women are not available. Yeah. When you look at what you are capable of and the kind of man you need and the kind of woman you need, and you look at the kind of men and women attracted to you, you know that this one, uh, 419, and sometimes if you don't pray, eh, you will settle for good instead of better. And the enemy of better is good. Sometimes you will settle, you have to find my latest book, it's coming out. 
Eh? The five, the five men, no woman must marry. And the five women, no man must marry. In your Bible, you have to get that way to help you. Because some of you, eh, you are already tra- attracted to the wrong person. And what you deserve, we call it non-available love. You are not attracting the kind of man and woman you need. They are not available. It's not true. They are there. They are there. I was praying for one of my spiritual daughters and I put her on a fast. On the third day of the fast, she comes and says, Papa, you won't believe the dream I have. I said, what was it? She said, she was taken to a forest. And when she got into the forest, she saw a man in a cave in a forest. And they locked him in the forest. And the Lord said, that is your husband. Lose him. The man was in an iron cave. You are caving him. Some of you, the woman you must marry. The man you must marry is in a cave. You are teaching him. But after today, they will break loose. Name of Jesus. I said they are coming out. Amen. From the cave, from the prison, from the forest. Name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Hear me. When you marry... Your husband and your wife must be a destiny helper. If it's just about love and not destiny helper, who be break? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You are from some strange village. Eh? You have to drop at the main road and walk two hours before you get to your village. No light. The man to you marry, you drop at the junction. And you walk four hours and you have to cross a river before you get to his destiny. Hey! Aden! Aden! Yeah. I show one of my children my village where my father came from. You know what she told me? She said, I now understand why you pray the way you pray. One of my own children. I, I, I didn't ask her why. The way she said the thing, she said, Papa, I now understand why you pray the way you pray. And I thought about, maybe I now ask her why you said that. But I can imagine what she was thinking. That when she saw the, my father's village, she realized that, Papa, we, my mom, Paya, has not to know. And some of you, yours is worse than mine. Because who would you know? Who would you have a fair, You look beautiful, handsome. There. Some of you, the way you look, I tell the young man, I said, don't just look at her and marry her. I said, find out where she come from. How many, how many hours walk is it from the main road to the village? Find out if there is a river you have to cross. Is there water? Is there light? Check the grandmother and great grandfather. Don't just say, Fefe, Fefe, no, I'm a Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. I was so ashamed. Go, Bisa, Bisa, Bisa. You have been a cable. Yeah. At the time you, you go to the village and you see the house she comes from, Today, there are financial setbacks, family setback, setback at the marketplace, setback in investment and in business because your destiny helpers have been wounded and poisoned. Today, by the efficacy of the blood of of the covenant. I command divine recovery in the name of Jesus. on every front, on every scene, home and abroad, in the name domestic of and external. In the name of Some Jesus. of you, your passport is an, an embassy. You've been waiting. They haven't called you. You know why they haven't called you? Because the person who has called you, eh, they've taken your name and your passport out of their mind. I'm telling you. And unless something happens, one year, Baba Ujian will be in view. Listen, I've seen situations. They go and they search for the document and they can't find it. Everybody's document is there. Only yours. But yours is there and they can't see it. I've seen situations. And they start to tell, Papa, Papa, it's not there. And I said, it's there. And said, but we look everywhere. And I said, I'm coming myself. And I'll go with them. And I'll pull the thing out. And I said, but this is it. He said, we didn't see it. Now me see, aha. When who? That flan in him. Say veils. Say a veil, a veil. Say spells. 
today we destroy veils. We destroy spells. We command divine recoveries. Put your hands down. Command divine recoveries. Recoveries. Financial recoveries. Marital recoveries. Emotional recoveries. Mental recoveries. Psychological recovery. A recovery at the marketplace. On the media scene. On the political scene. Let the spell be broken. Let the spell be destroyed. We command the spirit of the overtaker. Overtaker's anointing. Overtaker's anointing. Receive the anointing of the overtaker in the name of Jesus. Overtake, overtake, recover, pursue, overtake, recover. In the name of Jesus, I command you to overtake, pursue, recover all. Put your hands together, open your mouth, fire. Overtake and recover. Yes. Anyone that has gone ahead of you, anyone that exploited you, anyone that wasted you and spoiled you, anyone that have used you to achieve anything in life and they are using it against you. Today, let the anointing of the overtaker come upon you. In the name of Jesus. Let the anointing to pursue come upon you. Amen. Let the anointing to overtake and to recover all stolen goods, lost grounds, wasted years. Today, by the lifting of your hands, I release that anointing. I release the anointing to pursue, to overtake, to recover all. Open your mouth, put your hands together, pursue, overtake, recover. Lost opportunities, lost grounds, lost opportunities in the name of Jesus. Pursue, overtake, recover all. And I look to pursue, and I do my to recover all in the name of Jesus. In the ministry, pursue, overtake, recover all. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Pursue, overtake, recover all. Pursue, overtake, recover all. And I look to pursue, and I do my test, and I do recover all in the name of Jesus. Verse 19 to 22. I want to give you a key. Do you know that this world, eh? there's no poverty in this world. Don't believe it. There's no poverty. There is enough money in this world yeah. to make everybody in this world a millionaire and a billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. And there will still be more left. Yeah. Only 3 to 5% yeah. of the population of the whole world controls the wealth of the whole world. 3 to 5%. They control everything. Today, I want us to make a declaration and to make a prophecy across Africa, Europe, Asia, the Middle East, North America, South America, eh, and the nations of the world. Let money change hands. Amen. Read this. I want to show you something. Look now, at this picture. Uh -huh. there was no smith found throughout all the land of Israel. No smith. Watch, listen, careful, watch. For the Philistines said, mm -hmm. lest the Hebrews make them swords or spears. So, there was a plan to say that these smith people, eh, they will help Israel to have weapons and to have tools and sword to fight us. So what we will do, we will make sure that they are destiny helpers don't have weapons. Money is a weapon. 
Money is a weapon. We'll make sure they don't have the tools and the weapons to fight us. Go ahead, read and see. But all the Israelites went down to the Philistines mm-hmm. to shopping every man his share. Do you see? And so they've created a system where you have to go to the enemy. You have to go to unbelievers to give you loan and to help you so that all the time you are their mercy. You don't, you fast, you pray, you don't go to discos, you don't smoke, you don't do drugs, you don't fornicate, you don't cause adultery, you are living for God, but you are broke. And the unbelievers are saying that, hey, we will do all these foolish things, and yet we are loaded. Why? There is a manipulation going on. They have taken away your weapon. They've taken away your tool so that every time you go to them, and the Bible says there is this error. I have seen that proceed from the ruler. I have seen princes walking barefooted on the earth and servants riding on the back of horses. Today, anybody that is riding your horse, let them fall backwards and take possession of your horse. Tell two people, I'm taking possession of my horse. I'm taking possession of my horse. Yes, sir. Read, see something, watch this. To sharpen every man his share uh-huh. and his quota mm-hmm. and his axe mm-hmm. and his mattock. Mm-hmm. Yet, mm-hmm. they had a file for the mattocks mm-hmm. and for the quotas mm-hmm. and for the fox and for the axes mm-hmm. and to sharpen the gods. Mm-hmm. So it came to pass mm-hmm. in the day of battle. In the day of battle, that is what you call the Kairos moment of a man's life or a woman's life. That is the prime of your life. When you must have the upper hand over the enemy, see what happens on that day. That there was neither sword Mm -hmm. nor spear found in the hand of any of the people that were with Saul and Jonathan. Any of the people, all the men of war in Israel, they were strong, ready to fight, but they didn't have weapons. Your divine helpers are around. They mean well. They love you. They care about you. But they don't have the means. They don't have the money. They don't have the contact. They don't have the influence. They are broke like you. And that's why I say, when you are going to marry, you must check. Because if you are broke, your family is broke. Eh? If, if you hear this guy, Gideon, Gideon, his family was the poorest among all those poor in Manasseh. So if the poor calls you poor, then you are really poor. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you should marry a man and a woman because of money. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that at least they must come to the table with something. Especially if you know where you are coming from. Eh? If you have to walk one hour to your village and they have to walk four hours and cross a river, before they get to your village, it's adding three hours, and then the danger of crossing river, you don't know if the crocodile or snakes in the river. How? So you see what happened? Read it, finish it. But with Saul and Jonathan, his son was there found. So only the king and the son had a weapon. Everybody else who must fight for Israel and help the king and the son had no weapon. Why? The enemy has taken it. That's what they've done to Africa. We have all minerals here, and yet we are broke because they've taken away our weapons. They've taken away our ammunition. So we go to the table and we are puppets. Even though they are eating from our table, we have no say. Today, let money change hands. In the name of Jesus. Let the weapons they've taken from us be recovered. We are recovering every weapon they have taken from the hands of believers. Now, now hear me. Even in the church, eh, it's not everybody that must have money. I'm telling you as a father. Because there are some people in the church, they are so mean and wicked, eh, that the day they have money, they will even fight God. I'm telling you. They will use it against God. They will want to control the father of the house. The, everybody, you have to do what they say. I had a guy in this church many years ago. When he brings his tithe, he, he would tell me exactly what he wants the tithe to be done with. And I said, I'm, let me see what I are they? Are you my personal Holy Spirit? So I told him, go to accounts and take back your tithe. You can't tell me what I should do with the money. 
I said, if you don't trust me to use the money wisely, after all that I've done for your comfort, you don't trust that I'll use the money wisely, then go to another church. Don't bring your money here. I told him to leave, and he left. He doesn't have money again. I didn't curse him. I just told him to leave. Are you hearing me? So there are people, when they have money, hey, over bread. There are some husbands, when they have money, they will trample upon you. You have to do what they say. I'm with him. Ajua! Miura! Miura! If you say, yes, my Lord, dear my Lord, fear come and see from me, Miura! And there are some women too. When they have money, the husband will suffer. When you say, darling, say, dear and darling. Dear and darling. Fear come and darling. So, money must change hands into the right hands. Let money come into the hands of those who have a heart for God. Yeah. Those who are struggling but they are still helping the church. They are still helping the house of God. Let money come into the right hand. But today we prophesy across Africa, Asia, the Middle East, Europe, North America, South America. Let money change hands. Put your hands up. Professor, professor. Professor, let money change us. 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 Let money change us in Africa. Let money change us in Europe. Europe. In the name of the right hand, to the right, to the right yours. Let money change us to the right yours. Let money change us to the right yours. Let money change us to the right yours. Europe, America, North America, South America, Asia. Hey, let money change us, Australia. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us right now. Let money change us to the right shot. 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 In the mighty precious name of Jesus. Let money change us to the right shot. 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 Let money change us to the right job. 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 Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us to the right job. Let money change us to the right job. In the mighty precious name of Jesus. Let money change us to the right job. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money change us to the right job. Let money change us. Let money change us. Let money take there's, us. There's one more prayer you must pray. This is a prayer you must pray. Mm. Prayer that your destiny helpers, mm. whoever they are, wherever they are, that God will empower them for you. Amen. Let our destiny helpers be empowered. Amen. Are you hearing me, somebody? It's a very important prayer you must pray. Because a lot of you, your destiny helpers are weak. They have nothing. But whoever they are, Wherever they are, that God has commanded and touched their heart to help you as destiny helpers, home and abroad, domestic and external. Let them be empowered to help you. Pray that prayer right now. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Destiny helpers. Let them be empowered. Let them be empowered. Let my destiny 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 be empowered. In the mighty precious. 
name of Jesus. Let my death be empowered. Let my death be empowered. Let my death be Let my death be empowered. By the blood of Jesus. Let my death be empowered. Let my death be empowered. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. From this moment. In the name of Jesus. From this moment. Yes, Lord. Any order. Mm. Any order. Mm. Of the enemy. Mm. Any evil order in your life. Mm. From this moment. Yes. I declare. Mm. By the efficacy of the blood. In the name of Jesus. Of the covenant. Yes, Lord. Let that evil order change. Amen. I command the order to change. In the name of Jesus. And I command the tables to turn in your favor. In the name of Jesus. I command circumstances to turn in, in your favor. In the name of Jesus. I command men and women to favor you in the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus. I command circumstances to favor you. In the name of Jesus. Let the weather favor you. In the name of Jesus. Let the elements of the heavens and the earth in favor the name you. Of Jesus. Let men and women go out of their way and favor in you. In the name of Jesus. Let even your enemies favor you. In the name of Jesus. I command a divine turn around. In the name of Jesus. Turn around three times. Jesus. Turn around. In the I command name of a turn around. Jesus. One. In the name two. Of Jesus. Three. In Clap your hands. Jesus. Scream. In the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. Give me Psalm 62 verse 3. Psalm 6, I want you to use this prayer to pray for your father. Okay? I've been praying for you to pray for me. How long will you imagine mischief against a man? Uh -huh. You shall be slain, all of you. So we want to pray. Mm. Those who are imagining mischief and evil against your father, mm. whoever they are, wherever they are, yeah. Within and without, yes. let them be slain. In the name of Jesus. Stand two, three, two, three people, two people, three people. Put your hands up. Pray that prayer right now. Let them be slain. Let them be Mention slain the right name now. of your father. Anyone that is fighting against the archbishop, let them all be slain. Let them be slain. Those of you at home, according to your word, join us. Right now. Let, let them all be slain. Right now. Let them be slain 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 right now. Let them be let them be slain, let them be slain. Let them not go for it. Let them all be slain. Home and abroad. No matter who they are, within and without, that imagine a mischief against your anointed, your son and your servant, Heavenly Father, according to my covenant with you, let them not go unpunished. Let them all be slain. That divides my head and the head of my seed, my offspring, my loved ones, my household, and this house and my nation. Let them all be slain. Now hear me. Hear me. These prayers eh? and the scriptures, it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop here. When you go home, continue. You continue two, three times. The same topics, same scriptures. The Bible says in Genesis, and God said, and God saw, and God said, and God saw. So you know what prayer is? Intercession is different from prayer. Through intercession is this. You don't stop praying till you see what you are praying about. Until it manifests, you don't stop. That is intercession. You keep praying it, saying it till you see it. Tell somebody, keep praying it. Keep praying. Keep saying it till you see it. That's what intercession is. So you don't stop. That's why Israel has prevailed for 3,000 years. They are saying the same promises. They are praying the same promises. The same over and over and over and over again. If you look at the Muslims, they pray five times a day. If you listen to their prayers, it's the same thing. They pray the same thing five times a day. Very interesting thing if you listen to those prayers and the words in their prayers. Yeah. They pray for that you may give unto me all the good things of life. They pray some very interesting, the same thing over and over, five times a day. And you, you pray the thing one day, then you relax. It won't work. You have to keep praying it, keep saying it, and God said, and God, and God said, so. so until you see it, you can't stop praying it. 
So when you go home, repeat these same prayers. Three, four, five times a day. Keep saying it. And next week by this time, when we gather, you will see it. And tell somebody, when you see it, send the testimony. Tell somebody, when you see it, send the testimony. Send the testimony. Yeah. Because when God does it, he does things for us to testify, to glorify him. So when we don't testify, we hold back his glory. And he won't do it again for you. Amen. Go to 2 Thessalonians 1 6. Bishop, quickly, 2 Thessalonians 1 6. Seeing, seeing it is the righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So, this is New Testament, this is not Old Testament. Sometimes, some of you, anytime you look at me, you say, hey, David's brother, he's come again. Every time he wants to kill, I don't want to kill anybody. It's a simple thing. You trouble me, the Lord trouble you. Simple. I'm minding my own business. You try to cross me, you will not go unpunished. Amen. Give me, Bishop, give me Psalm 62 verse 3. Psalm 62 verse 3. How long will you imagine mischief against a man? Uh -huh. Tell to someone, say, how long? How long? Tell somebody, why? 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 How long? How long? Until something happens to them, they will not leave us alone. But let the sword of the Lord go after them. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are hiding, let the sword of vengeance and judgment pursue them. Locate, discover, and strike them down. Read it. How long will you imagine mischief against a man? Mm -hmm. You shall be slain, all of you. Uh -huh. All of them. Let all of them be slain. Let not one among them go unpunished. Before they cross our path, let the sword of the Lord slay them. In the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me, somebody? All those who are seeking our blood, our life, and our children, and our loved ones, every one of them will go before us. We send them ahead. Let them go ahead. Let them go. Go, 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 go. We send them ahead. Finish. Finish. As a bowing wall shall ye be. Yes. And as a tottering fence. The only consult is for. Now look at verse 4. The only consult to cast him down from his excellence. So, so all of this eh, is to bring you down. Oh, yes. That's all. They don't like the fact that somebody was talking to me the other day. And he was talking about a man of God that says that, as for, as for that papa. I, I won't allow him to have more members and more money than me. And I said, what does that have to do with me? Everybody is working in their lane. I'm working in my lane. Why are you worried about me having more people than you? Why are you worried about me having more money than you? And I said, in the name of Jesus, because he said that with his mouth, let him be deprived and denied. Of such in the name of Jesus and let him lose whatever he has and let him not see the light of day because he was envious and jealous of somebody else say I hear you go back to 62 3 3 how long will you imagine mischief against a man mm -hmm. you shall be slain all of you lift up your hands say any group of individuals home and abroad, domestic and external, who for many years have devised mischief and evil against me, my house, and this house, and my nation. Let them be slain. All of them, home and abroad, let them not go unpunished. Oh God of my vengeance, Put your hands up. Pray that prayer. You have to push it. Stop being nice. Let the Lord troubled them that for so long a time have devised mischief against us and our house 
let them all be slain be slain Your prayers are too weak. I can't hear you. Your prayers are too weak. Let it come out of your belly. Be angry. Be angry. Now, now, quickly, give me Genesis 49, 17. Let's see what is there. 49, 17. Uh -huh. Dan, Dan shall be a serpent by the way. By the way. By and the way. Adder in the path. Paluka do la sata. That biteth the horse's heel. Ayali katawala has. So that his rider shall fall backward. Any serpent that has been positioned in our way, any snake that has been released in our path and in our way. Now watch this. The interesting thing about this scripture is this. Watch this. The serpent or the snake did not go for the rider. It went for the horse. And the horse here signifies your divine helpers. The plan here is leave the rider the divine helpers when you attack those God have positioned to help them it will set them back and they can't move forward the Bible said give and it shall be given good measure press down shaking together running over shall who shall who he said release snakes to go and bite the men that will give to his bosom so when the men that will give to his bosom are beaten by the snake and poisoned by the snake the blessings and the harvest that must come to their bosom will be denied it will not come and that is how the enemy have set back so many people Bishop James was telling us about a true story that happened of a young man that sought for a visa to go to America for many years it never happened through his brother in America, he got a breakthrough, he got a visa, he arrived in the US at JFK. When he got to JFK, they took his passport, going through the visa, they saw the grandmother's picture. Now I'm not saying there's a problem with your grandmother, so don't go and tell your grandmother, Papa said, I haven't said anything. Me too, I've had grandmothers, amen? My grandmother and I were very tight. Even though she wasn't born again, we were very tight. We love each other by the wayside. Let's move on. So, when they saw his passport, the picture in his passport was the grandmother. So the immigration officer asked him, who is this picture? He said, my grandmother. Then he said, but what is your grandmother's picture doing in your passport? He said, I don't understand. I don't know why. And he said, but they shouldn't have given you the visa because it's your grandmother's picture. He said, no, 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 no. It was my picture I took to the embassy and they gave me the visa. The immigration officer said, well, I'm sorry. There's something wrong. We can't allow you to enter the United States. So they deported him. The guy almost went off. He was going to take his life and Bishop James was on a radio program preaching and said, don't take your life, don't take your life. And he called him and Bishop James said, come quickly. So he, he went to the radio station where Bishop James was, told the story and they prayed for him. Do you know what happened? The brother that tried to help him to bring him to America, after that incident, the brother suddenly died. And I was telling them at Dominion Hour that sometimes, even me, when it comes to helping certain people, I have to really fight and override some things 
to, to help them. It's not that I can't help them. Either I forget or for whatever reason, it's like something is preventing me from doing the right thing. Something doesn't want me to help them. Lift up your hands. Any snake, any serpent, any beast, any curse, any programming, they've set on your way to stop your divine helpers, to poison your divine helpers, to prevent your divine helpers from helping you in order to set you back. Today, we intercept and abort, intercept and abort, put your hands together, intercept, abort the assignment of the snake, the serpent. I can't hear you. Somebody get mad, get angry. Now, I want us to pray, to release, to deliver, and to preserve your divine helpers. There was a situation of an individual who had a, a particular illness, and there was only one person, a doctor, especially in a particular field, who could help him. By the time he got there, that only person who had the expertise and the skill to deliver and rescue him had for whatever reason suddenly had a crisis situation and had traveled and left town and wasn't going to come for about a month or two. Let our divine helpers be delivered. Let our divine helpers be preserved. Let our divine helpers escape the bite of the snake in the way. Put your hands down. Pray that prayer. Secure your divine helpers. Command the deliverance. Preservation of your divine helpers. Somebody put your hands together. Open your mouth. Rescue your divine helpers. Command their deliverance. Release them. Command their preservation. Put your hands together. Whoever they are. Wherever they are. Let them be preserved and delivered. Preserved. Delivered. Rescued. Right now. Put your hands together. Push it, push it, push it for a minute, push it for a minute, push it for a minute. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. You are being too nice, too diplomatic, too political. Stop being political, stop being diplomatic. Open your mouth, put your hands together, secure your divine helpers. I secure my divine helpers and that of my children the divine helpers of my children i secure them i command their deliverance i command their release their escape let them be rescued 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 
in the name of Jesus. Rescue. Now hear me. Hear me. Go beyond yourself. Eh? Pray one more prayer. Go beyond yourself. Pray for the deliverance of the divine helpers of your children and of your loved ones. Because you never know whom your children will need. And God has positioned a divine helper somewhere. But this enemy we are dealing with is a serpent. It's a snake. Let the divine helpers of your children and of your loved ones be preserved. Let them be rescued. Let them be delivered in the air, on land and on water. Put your hands God. Pray that prayer right now. Put your hands together, open your mouth. Don't just stand there. Don't stand there like that. This is a very serious thing we are doing. This is no joke. You will need this one day. You may not need it now, but one day you will. Lift it up, lift up prayer. Lift it up, lift it up. Now, hear me. Hear me. One more prayer. You see, when they put Joseph in the pit, they left him there to die. And Joseph was to die. They were going to leave him there in the pit. No air. Nothing. And the Ishmaelites came. And they sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites. That was what delivered him out of the pit. The Ishmaelites here, was Joseph's deliverance. The Ishmaelites were his divine helpers. God sent the Ishmaelites to pull him out of the pit. Any group of people and anyone, God has appointed them position to bring us out of the pit, to pull your children and loved one out of the pit, to rescue them in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, we release them. We lose them to come. We compel them to come. And we command them to be on time, on time, on time. Put your hands together, on time, on time rescue, on time deliverance, on time, on time. Open your mouth, on time. They will not come before time. They won't be here when it's too late. They will be on time. Command your helpers to be on time. Command your helpers to be on time. Declare, my helpers will come on time. The helpers of my children, my loved ones, they will be on time. Let them be on time. Let them be on time. On time. On time. Put your hands God. Let them be on time. Hear me. Lift it up. Lift it up. Say I declare. Before heaven and earth. By the blood of my my covenant by the blood of my covenant that my divine helpers and the divine helpers of my loved ones and of my children my house and this house and my nation they will be on time say I announce before heaven and earth that my divine helpers will be on time if you believe it put your hands together and declare it declare it let them be on time they will be on time. Yeah, yeah, they will not be delayed. They will not be delayed. There will not be any delays or interference. In the name of Jesus, of the coming forth of my divine helpers, the divine helpers of this house and of this nation, let them be on time. Let them be on time. Put your hands together and announce they will be on time. They will be on time. It's important you announce this thing. Put your hands together. Stop playing politics. Stop being diplomatic. Stop being politically correct. Put your hands together and announce it. Tulatu kalika salat. Tulakadu kalika salan. 
Pilayanda Kawasan Kifan Kulan Weam Kuluku Sun to Kadim Bilahang Katan Kawala Kitukun de Kasalan Mefalandu Kawalia San Ke Sutu Kilia. Now, now, go to go to Isaiah 49. Give me verse 26. Give me 26. Anyone that is seeking our blood, let them be drunk with their own blood. <laughs> ah, our blood will not be shared like that of Abel. And anyone that seeks our flesh, let them be fed with their own flesh. Go ahead, Bishop. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Yes, sir. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. Yes, sir. As with sweet wine. Madaku. And all flesh shall know Malika that I am the Lord. Kasi. I'm thy savior hey. and thy redeemer. Malika the tu. mighty one Akidu of Israel. Kasala. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Anyone, anywhere seeking my blood and my flesh and the blood and flesh of my loved ones and of my children home and abroad say whoever they are wherever they are in the heavens above on the earth or the earth beneath or the regions of the sea or the rocks the mountains the valleys the hills say whoever they are and whatever powers they are working with and operating with i declare by the efficacy of the superior blood of the lamb let them be fed with their own flesh drunk with their own blood that seek and desire my blood and that of my loved ones and family put your hands together announce it announce it announce make an announcement don't be politically correct don't play with this thing don't just stand there and be looking at me make this announcement you will need it tomorrow it will work for you tomorrow i'm telling you open your mouth put your hands together make an announcement that i announce before heaven and earth by the word of the lord that whoever seek desire and want my flesh my blood and that of my loved ones and my seed home and abroad domestic and external i announce before the lord and hell that they will be drunk with their own blood fed with their own flesh that seek desire and want and demand for my blood and the blood of my seed and my loved ones and this house home and abroad put it together shout it scream it declare it Now, last scripture, give me Esther chapter 7 verse 10. Esther chapter 7 verse 10, Bishop. So they hung Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's rough passage. Lift up your right hand. Say, anyone that has prepared a gallows to hang me and my loved one and this house and my nation on it, in the name of Jesus, let them be hanged on their own gallows now give me some 141 verse 10 some 141 verse 10 quickly madu sadi kadu galasit yes sir NIV. Go ahead. The niv niv give me niv quickly yes sir let the wicked fall into their own nets uh -huh. while i pass by in safety anyone that have set a net for us from now to the end of 2024 whatever the net is whatever the net is coming from through land, water, air, or food, or drink. In the name of Jesus, let them fall into their own net. Let them be hung on their own gallows. Put your hands together. Announce it. Make a divine announcement, a divine proclamation that I proclaim before heaven and earth in the name of Jesus to the hearing of enemies, known and unknown, friends. It doesn't matter who you are. Hear ye the word of the Lord that have set a gallows for me, my house, and my loved one, and my seed, and this house, you shall be hung on that same gallows. And anyone that have set a trap, a trap, a trap, a tent for me, and my house, and this house, and my nation, into that very head, you shall fall, and I will pass by in safety to the end of this year and beyond. Put your hands together and make the announcement. Say 
say it. Say something. Don't stand there. Say something. Open your mouth. Say something. Maduka Lika Dallas. Bagandu Laga Wasa. Elita Kunda Kasalin. Imahandula. Awalandu Kasalima. Emangi Dalu Kasalan. Filanduka. Isalan. Wean. Kowan Sikadun. Bikalin. Belindu Kasalama. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus. A body in era, Jesus. Fair man in now. The castle of your bride. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Me team pecha for Jesus And by potier for Jesus Me free my good memory Me cause I will you grow I am one of the ones I'm a body And I'm a king you are, every head's bow, everybody praying. If you are here, and whatever you are hearing the sound of my voice, 
you don't have the assurance of salvation and eternal life. You are not sure your name is written in the book of life. And you want to settle this issue today. You want to settle it. You want to make peace with your creator. And you say, preacher, please pray with me. I want to settle this matter today. I want my name written in the book of life. Wherever you are, whoever you are, as every head by, every eye closed, <clears throat> please lift up your right hand. Let me pray with you quickly. Anybody here, I want to make peace with my creator. Just lift up your right hand. We are here to help you. Nothing to be ashamed and embarrassed of. It's a decision you must make. For it is appointed unto man once to die and after judgment. Once to die and after judgment. You must be ready for that day. If you are not sure you are ready, please lift up your right hand. Let me pray for you. If your hand is lifted up, come to me at the front. Let's pray. Quickly, come. Please come now. If you must come, come. Is there anybody coming? Everybody pray, 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 pray. Loose, loose them. Loose the children of God. Loose them. Church, pray. Loose them from shame, embarrassment. Loose them from deception, from the veil. Loose them. In the name of Jesus. From spells. Loose them from bewitchment. Loose them. Loose God's children. Command the angels to go forth and release them. Angels sent to those who shall become the heads of salvation. Ye his angels that excel in strength, that obey his command, that do his command. Hacking to the voice of his word. Go around, influence. Bring them forth. Bring them out. Bring those who are been appointed to become heads of salvation. You are assigned to them. Release them to come now. Compel them to come. Ye his angels, compel them to come. Cause them to come forth now. Hacking to the voice of his word. In the name of Jesus. Everybody lift up your right hand. Say with me, Heavenly Father, today, I acknowledge Jesus as Lord and savior of my life I give you my life Lord Jesus write my name in the book of life cleanse me wash me with your blood seal me with the Holy Spirit against the day of redemption I don't want to go to hell take my name out of the book of death and out of hell Register my name in the book of life and in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. We need to go back to the place of prayer. You cannot navigate through the end time storms if you don't go back to the place of prayer. So the secret place of the Most High is the place of prayer.